Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Shadows of Thou. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and it just got a brand new update. In this update, they've added a new murder type, the Sniper Killer, as well as a bunch of new buildings and other stuff, and I'm excited to be back with a brand new series. Now, if you don't know this game, let me paint a picture for you. In this game, you live in a city with a bunch of normal people, and everything in the city is simulated, which means they're going to work, they're going to restaurants, they're going to sleep, they're having friends, they're having relationships, and because it is a detective game, they are also stealing stealing from each other, cheating on each other, and murdering each other, and we are the detective in this city who has to solve all the crimes. Now, it is because it is fully simulated, no two crimes will ever be the same, and it is up to you to pick up all the puzzle pieces, put them together, and figure out who did it, and that is exactly what we're gonna do. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Now let's hop into the game. Let's go. And welcome to New Amsterdam, a brand new city for a brand new series. If this is your first time seeing this game, I'm so excited to get to share it with you. Uh, let's walk around the city a little bit, get familiar with these streets that we're going to be spending so much time on. Um, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It is basically the only true detective game that I've ever played. And I've really never played anything like it because of the way all the citizens work in this city. They're all just living their lives from the homeless people to the people at the very top of society. They're doing all their own things. Uh, and we're gonna be solving all the crimes. Let's go to the diner right away, I guess, get a, get a case. Now we're gonna be playing with a few extra rules this time because we've been so... Uh, experience at this game that solving crimes would be very easy if we just use all the tools in the book so i thought we'd make it a little harder by playing on extreme difficulty also look at that we already get the passcode for the black market dealer uh, we should actually write that down uh, immediately we're going to be playing on extreme difficulty um notes i'm just going to make a case real quick for notes so we can write down our own notes uh black market dealer black market dealer is hair which is the password we're gonna be needing that as well as the gun store and we're gonna be playing on extreme difficulty and we're not gonna be allowing any stealing to make money which is gonna be the big difference because you can basically pick up a diamond and immediately be rich we're not gonna be doing any of that uh if this is your first time watching this game i'm gonna be assuming that it is it probably isn't if you've already checked some of the other series but it, it it's nice to have a little bit of a refresher i'm just gonna be explaining things uh very base on a very basic level this right here is your bulletin board which is in a lot of places this is a diner right here we got a hotel right there we got different apartment complexes, businesses, uh, and most businesses have a bulletin board right here, which you can go to to get jobs. Now, these jobs range anywhere from, such as this one, is an arrest case, uh, which gives you 1,400 credits. We start with 100 credits and five lockpicks, uh, which we're probably going to be spending all that money on just getting a photo camera for our first job. Another arrest case. This is another thing. We're not going to be stealing any sync discs, which is like the upgrades you can get for your character in this game. You can install them on your character to get different perks, uh, extra from extra extra inventory to literally making yourself taller or smaller, uh, which this one, for example, makes you taller or, or smaller if you want. Um, so we're going to be having to earn those through contracts as well as the upgrade disc we're actually going to have to buy. It just makes uh, money a lot more fun to gain and use. Uh, another beauty disc. Wait, this one is actually incredible because I think it makes people more likely to talk to you and give you information for free. But it is also a very difficult looking case. The more money you get for a case, the more difficult a case can be. And it's all randomly generated, so you don't know how... Uh, difficult this one's gonna be, but I'm gonna try it at least because that disc would be an amazing early game disc. Is there another simple case? Demolition work, not necessarily my jam. I think that's what we're gonna do. So ask the staff about Ericsson. Hello there. Uh, unknown citizen. We don't know the names of any of these citizens, but we're slowly gonna be unlocking all the information on all these people in due time. One of, one of my favorite parts of this game, also by the way, uh, it's a photograph of where the briefcase is hidden. Okay, we need to look for a briefcase. It'll give you the information on your target. Thank you, thank you. I don't want anything to do with this. Though we don't even know who gave us the job in the first place. Uh, one of my favorite things in this game. Oh, we get this photo. Um, Godfrey Street. Are we in Elden Ring? Godfrey Street. Uh, is that you sometimes see a lot of recurring characters. There's about 400 people in this city uh, that I saw in the stats when I started of the game. Um, and the game is very clever at making some characters recurring characters. They'll either become killers, like they'll start as a little petty thief and then get upgraded to becoming a killer, and it's just a really fun experience. So there's someone... Oh, there's a briefcase here. Wait, let's see. So we need to find this photo cam. Um, this is one of the cases. We're going to be doing all kinds of different cases. I see some boxes. What does that look like? Uh, maybe over here. 
How long is this? Oh, we also get the password for this is huge. Okay, so this these graffiti's on the wall, by the way. You already saw it right there. They contain like a little picture and then a passcode, which this one is the passcode for the gun store, which we already have the passcode. Uh, otherwise, they won't let you in and you're trespassing in there. Uh, so weapon, weapon dealer is uh, Azure. Nice. So we have hair and Azure, both passcodes, if we're ever going to need that. Which we're definitely going to need that because we want to find out who buys weapons in this city. Um, because they're going to be using those to kill people. Where is this cam? Wait, let's see. So we can look at our map here to see how big this street actually is. Because we're on Godfrey Street, right? Okay, Godfrey Street is a really long street through the middle here. Uh... Wait, am I even on the right path? I'm not on the right path at all. So it's it's this street down the middle that we're gonna have to find a briefcase on. Um, now the murders are happening all the time and we're just gonna be randomly getting reports of them. There might already be have been a murder committed right now. And oh, I see the location right there. Uh, and someone has to find the body and report it to the police before we can get any report of it. Here we go. That's the briefcase we were looking for. Uh, so we're gonna be, wait, sorry, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. Briefcase. Let's check it out. What the hell? Did you hear the shots? I swear I just heard someone shoot. Was that on the video? Or did someone just get killed? Wait. <laughs> I swear I just heard gunshots. Excuse me? Alright, well, we'll hear about, hear about that very soon, potentially. I don't know if that was really gunshots or if it was from the radio. That would be a little weird. Anyway, uh, we got some information. Uh, jobless... Wait. I already opened the briefcase. Where's my information? I, I threw it in the garbage because I thought I already got the information. Excuse me, I was trying to get the briefcase out of the garbage, but I couldn't. Uh, but that doesn't matter because we already got the murder reported. I don't think that was the murder, by the way, because that was the TV from up there that was making gun noises. All right, well, scratch that entire case. Literally closer because we cannot get that briefcase. Uh, whoopsie doopsie. Uh, new murder case right away. That is so soon. Okay, so 6.45. The game starts at 6. So that's... Uh, oh, wait, it's actually on the streets. Wait, maybe we heard the gunshot? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, man. McDonald Parade. That's literally out on the street. Also, my character is very cold. Are you the killer? Why are you running? Huh? You sussy? I can't talk to them. I think they're fake. I think they're a fake person. Help? Oh, they saw the kill. Wait, 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 wait. We got to run over there. Okay, so something really cool is happening. There's like a murder on the street right now, which means there might be a lot of witnesses. Let's see. Uh, hello, sir. Did you see something suspicious? Have you heard something unusual? Yeah, there was someone skulking about. They had long blonde hair hair. Of course, still the hair hair, very important. I saw them today at McDonald Parade around 6.45 p.m. Okay, long blonde hair. They were nearby Flower Boulevard. Okay, thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Headed east near Flower Boulevard, headed east. Okay, we're getting a lot of information. Um, let's see, long blonde Hair, hair. This is like, you gotta take notes. You gotta be an actual detective. They were near Flower Boulevard, headed east. Okay. All right. I don't know if we're gonna spot them out in the middle of nowhere. Looked like they were in a rush. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we first need to find the body. What are you guys about? Oh, the police. Oh, there's the body. The police is running after someone. Oh my God. In the, we actually probably heard these shots then. Unless it wasn't a gun. What the fuck? Oh, there's a little crumpled paper there. Paper there. Let me first inspect the... Oh, are you guys going to be mad at me? I want to inspect the cadaver. There we go. T search analyze. Uh, oh, it is... This is the person. Let's write down their actual name. They're called... Bodaway Yellow Rope? No, that's their... What? Yeah. Is that the person? What a name. <laughs> what is that name? Bodaway Yellow Robe? <laughs> Okay, we're not gonna steal their money because we're not gonna be stealing anything. Uh, they live in the basement of Camara Heights. Okay, I'm gonna try and organize my sheets. This is the fastest murder I've ever had. That's a good start. Um, so th that's where they live. We have their name. Is this considered stealing taking a key? Uh, I've done it. I think I'm gonna take keys. No money, but keys are fine. If this considers stealing, whatever. Ah, shit. All right, well, keys are fine because it's not a monetary income, right? We just want to try and actually earn a lot of money through actual contracts. Okay, search the rest. A bullet wound from a buckshot typically fired from a shotgun? Dude, he got executed in the middle of the street, bro. 
There, he had a knife on him, but that doesn't matter too much. From examining the bot, I could have literally been here if I walked past, if I, if I got around the corner. I could have seen the murder with my own two eyes. Okay, so your ass got killed here literally 15 minutes ago. Uh, and I see a little note here on the ground. Let's play. Okay. Hello there. That seems important. It was just an execution and then he threw down a piece of crumpled paper. Let's pick that up. Pick that and analyze it in my inventory. Inspect. The, dude, I'm all, all, all back into it. Crumpled pe paper found at the street, but I want to scan it for potential fingerprints. Um, if I can do that. Sorry. All the buttons. Scan that bad boy. We get a fingerprint type A. So the way fingerprints work in this game, uh, we're going a little all over the place, but that's because I didn't expect there to be a murder in the first second of the game. Um, the the fingerprints are, are like one type. So if I find a fingerprint that is the same to this one, it'll also be type A. Once you link them to a person, it'll also give you belongs to that person. Uh, but if you see a type A anywhere, you know 100% certain that is from the same person, which is a really useful thing to have to link a, uh, a criminal to the crime scene, obviously. Uh, so this might be the thing that we're gonna hand in later. We're gonna have to get the form first uh, to give proof that they were at the crime scene right here. Uh, okay, so that's very important. This seems to be some kind of, like, scr or scrambled name that we're gonna have to put together. A very long name, which is gonna make my life a little easy or harder or easier, potentially, because it's a pretty uh, unique name, probably. Okay, so you're mega dead. There's also blood on the ground now. Please, no. Are you teabagging them, bro? See anything yet? So long blonde hair hair with a shotgun. Hello there. I was. Is there any street cameras around here? There are street cameras right there. So they might. I'm also very cold. I should run inside here for a moment. Okay. So we know where they are. Let, let's go over the facts that we've gathered. Oh, I love the. I love the vibe of these different establishments, man. Look at this guy. Hello. You want to give me your name? Bowie Morris. You're just chilling. What's it to you? Nothing really. I was just curious. Okay. Um. So first of all. We gathered most of the information probably from the crime scene. We got a fingerprint. Of, wait, we should actually scan the fingerprint. Also, look at this. Wait, the window is broken. Does that mean the killer was in here, blasted through the wall? Is this the new, like, sniper case? I don't know if it is, but the, or they were over there and they shot this way. I should probably go fast because we are... Like, the criminal is, is getting ahead of us. Uh, where is Flower Boulevard? Because that's where they said that they were running. Let's see, Flower, let me just look it up here. Flower, Flowers Boulevard, where is that on the map? That is, ooh, wait a minute. Because this happened, where are we right now? We are right now over here. Okay, headed east. Oh, they were here and then they ran this way, shot right here, and then maybe kept running. I don't know, we're probably not gonna see them, but that actually means if they were headed east from Flower Street, northeast, uh, then they might have gotten captured on the camera that's right over here. So we could actually totally look at that camera. However, the problem is that there is cops about literally teabagging on top of the body, probably setting up a crime scene right now. There we go, set up. Dude, that's such a sick, what the hell? <laughs> oh man, out in the street murder. Okay, did you guys see anything suspicious? Have you seen anything unusual? Yeah, I did see someone dodgy looking. Let me guess, they had long blonde hair hair. They had long blonde hair hair. What a surprise. Are they ever gonna fix the hair hair glitch? I don't think so. I saw them today at Mercer Street. Okay. They were nearby McDonald Parade, obviously, because they killed someone there. Okay, everyone knows. I'm glad that you guys are actually talking to me. I appreciate that. Okay, very cool. So, uh, we could go to their house. I think first step uh, outside, because I don't think we're, it's already been 30 minutes. There's no way we're going to, the killer must have been running around. There's no way we're going to find the killer just randomly skulking about. So what I think we're going to do is go to their apartment and maybe, uh, oh, basement. Oh, I haven't discovered this yet, so I can't fast travel to it. But I can just select Kamara Heights. I'll just, whatever, any building, doesn't matter. Um, and then we'll quickly go over to their house to see... This is some kind of ritualistic shit, by the way. I didn't even comment on it, but there's like a whole thing. You, know, you had time to draw all that up right there? In the middle of the street? Absolute insane. Uh, okay, where is Kamara Heights? We need to get familiar with these names. I mean, we don't need to. We can just fast travel. I love the way the city looks, by the way. So you can actually place these buildings yourself. I put down these buildings myself so, to make sure that we had everything covered in the city. Um, 
but the street layouts all get randomly generated and you can't do anything about that and I love the way like all these little poles and neon lights have been placed very cool uh, if you by the way are enjoying the series and want to see this become a long-running series until we beat the game make sure to let me know in the comments down below because uh, this is gonna be one of those off-stream series that's gonna be fueled by you guys' excitement as well as mine uh, I love the off-stream series we've done especially on this game hello there that is basement 01. Why are you running? Why is everyone running in this city, man? Okay, never mind. You're sitting down. Uh, unknown address. That's probably not it. I need to find basement building three under here. This one? Camara Heights 3. I have the key. So I'm going to let myself in. What in the heck is this house? It's so empty. Dude, this guy was just. Oh, a poor per- wait, 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 no, though. You are not being followed, it is just your mind. Take the pills. Okay, then. I think they were indeed being followed, and then got executed. Let's check if we can find any fingerprints on that. Fingerprint IV. Did I even scan for fingerprints on the victim? You guys are probably yelling at me. Sorry, I got so carried away with all the excitement. No, but we know where the body is. The body will be there, probably, for a while, so I think we'll be fine. Got a lighter? What is this? Work rotation. Uh, you are a bar staff. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be writing that down. I'm trying to keep this organized. Can you move everything? Oh, look at that. That's sick. You can just move everything at once. Okay. Well, I should probably keep this at the house. This was found at the house. This is the crime scene right here. Or very important information from the crime scene. And this is the house. We're gonna be gathering stuff from here. Okay, so they work as a bar. Uh, they also have another note. So the jerk who keeps standing outside my door and messing with my mail, cut it out or I'll call the enforcers. You know who you are. This is probably their name, not the killer's name. B-Y, yeah, B-Y. Okay, well, they are definitely being stalked. And what is this? Is that a Ouija board? Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> it looks like a Ouija board. But you got rifle ammunition and you got deer slug ammunition. Hello there. Okay, you got an organ donor rock. That's a different name. Do two people live here? Wait. What the fuck? Is this not your house, sir? Who are these people? Why are there so many... Why are you collecting organ donor cards? What the fuck? Is this guy selling... Is this guy a criminal? Is he selling credit cards and stuff? What the hell? Dear Bodaway, I got your note. Sorry, but I can't hand over surveillance footage to anyone who asks. I ain't seen no tall, non-binary stalking around the... <laughs> this is a bit of an interesting way of phrasing that. Okay. If you got real concerns, put in a form to my office. How would you know that by just looking at them? That seems awfully assumptions of you. Uh, anyway, so long or tall, so we have more information even. Okay, so let's enter this. Do we have the hair type? This is probably the killer, obviously. Tall and non-binary. I can't put... Oh, is that a hyphen? You can barely see it. It's so, so cursive. Okay, so we have a lot of information about the killer. Do you have... A phone? It doesn't seem like you have a phone. This is a very limited... <laughs> this very limited house, which is very bad for us. Because that means we won't be getting the address book of this person. Uh, which could contain a lot of useful... I don't know why he's got so many organ donor cards. That is very weird. Maybe it wasn't just some criminal shit. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, we have a lot of leads to check still. We can look at the surveillance camera footage. Uh, but I wanted to get the police to fuck off for a little bit. Uh, so let's see. I think this is not going to be very interested in interesting anymore. So I'm going to remove that. Just killer profile here. Um, killer profile. Add that so we know what this is. There we go. Now let's go over. I like to organize stuff. Uh, leads. What leads do we have? We have uh, surveillance. Surveillance. Is that how you write that? Surveillance at crime scene and workplace i think those are our main uh main places we're gonna go to so so let's first go back to the crime scene and see if the police has fucked off yet uh because they might have is this one of the new buildings by the way i think i think no this is a townhouse never mind it's the townhouse look at these nice houses by the way oh we could also go in like this into the basement cool i really love the detail of these buildings they've been at they've added a few more buildings as well that we're gonna be seeing um Instead of just like tall high-rise apartments, they're more low. Like this one. This is the new one. Look at this. Hello there. 
which had this has this really cool courtyard down here. Yeah, look at that. So different from all the other buildings. Love it. Uh, anyway, let's go back to crime scene. Also, rest in peace, our, our briefcase. That's the, are you naked? No, I thought you. Were, I thought you were naked. That would have been very cold. Okay, everyone's still running around, panicking over the body. You seem to. Didn't you tell me about the? You're that guy that told me about the long blonde hair hair person. This isn't happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a body. Why'd you leaving beer all over the crime scene, gamers? Okay, I am going to. I can't really do this. Are they? They're gonna see me do this. Stop looking at me. I'm trying. I want to unlock this. How many? I need five lockpicks. That's exactly how many lockpicks I have. Let's quickly see if we can do this, but we might be immediately attacked here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Do it fast. People are gonna see you. Yes. Actually working. I somehow managed to find a dime where no one was looking at me. That's all my lockpicks, though, so rest in peace, lockpick. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's see. Usually you don't get a murder case this early in your game, by the way. You have to wait like a few hours. I mean, they happen pretty fast. But, I mean, if you're going to kill someone out in the streets, no wonder they're going to be found fast. Okay, so let's see. Um, this is... It's Monday. You always start on the 2nd of January. Uh, so we want to see... Where did this killer take place? Here, basically. Can we see anyone? Okay, this unknown citizen was here around this time. Uh, let me close some things. It's getting a little messy. Um... There we go. This is more crime scene information, so I'll put it over here at the crime scene. Uh, so that was around the murder. This is... There's no face here. That is the police already showing up, probably. Unless it's the murderer, which would be very spicy. And then this is literally the time of the crime. Oh, wait, but they don't have long blonde hair hair. Yeah, long brown hair hair. What do you have? Probably not long black hair hair. Oh! Average height, short blonde hair. Okay, so we don't really have to pin these down then. I mean, can I even see the hair of these people? Bald blonde hair. Okay. Bald gray hair. I don't think that. Wait, am I even pointed the right way? I think I'm not pointed the right way. Whoopsie doopsie. Sorry. Yeah, this way. That's the murder crime scene right there. Also, sorry, I'm shaking. I'm a little cold. Uh, but there's no information here at all. Excuse me. Why could I move this? Move the thing over there. There's a person. Okay. Doesn't seem like this has picked anything up. So it's only this one. Are there any people left here? I mean, they ran this way. It's literally snowing right now. No wonder I'm freezing. Okay. So I don't think this picked the killer up, which happens a lot. Don't get too caught up with the surveillance camera footage and it needing to see someone. Like, a lot of the times you won't. Uh, there's someone the killer won't really show up on the surveillance camera I like to believe that they're just really good at avoiding them rather than the game just not spotting them <laughs> that's fine okay so we're gonna leave this open for a while uh, let's go to their house I think that's the next place or uh, to their workplace uh, that's the next place we gotta go to which it said it in the work rotation oh wait but we don't know exactly where they work they're a bar staff but I'm assuming at this establishment right here they got shot right at their workplace this is a bar is that what's going on here did everyone leave where is the hello do you know what's your name i'm not telling you they're all so drunk they're having a date right here they're having a little chat oh maybe the newspaper will have some information about the crime scene killer among us new amsterdam enforcers were called this evening to the discovery of the body of a 33 year old male at mcdonald parade enforcers are treating the death as a homicide press were not allowed on the scene but according to the to a Mekwi Echohawk who discovered the body, the victim had been brutally shot to death with a shotgun. Curiously, responders also found a message crawled nearby. BY paid? I didn't even see that. Okay. In addition, a crumpled paper has been found at the crime scene, leading the killer to become known as the Red Gum Reaper. A neighbor, a mix O Brinkley stated, I'm so scared I can't sleep. I'm afraid I might be next. Okay, interesting. So. He paid. Interesting. He had like a uh, a debt of some sort. All right, then I'm gonna drop this back on the floor. But then I never took that. Can we sneak in here and see the? Yes, that's what I'm curious about. No one saw that. Um. Oh fuck the cameras here. You piece. You piece. Can I go in here? I need to find the the code. Is there like a little note here? Um, I really want to look at these guys because will anyone match the the crumpled paper, right? 
So they were also suspecting people, but I don't know if there was surveillance footage there. Um, we're gonna check the fingerprint of the victim in a moment, by the way. I don't even know if they work here. That's why I want to see this. Okay, they do work here. Nice. So they literally got shot right outside of their workplace, which is a little fucked up. Okay. Um, does anyone... Was it like a work... Bo Bowie Morris, we know you. We've already gotten your name. I'm just... What is our crumpled paper again? We have this setup of letters. Is anyone going to be matching that? Doesn't seem like it. At Showhawk? No. But you're the guy who found the... You're the guy who found the... The person at the crime... Or who found the crime scene. So I guess I'll put you over at the crime scene over here. Um, let's see. Next one. Jacobson doesn't really spell out Jacobson, but you do have long blonde hair, but your average height, not tall height. Okay. Who are you? Dante Guthrie also doesn't really seem to match the description. I'm just going through the list here. Jun Wu An. Do you have short ginger hair? You have a hat on though. McLean. I don't know if we're going to find the name here. Pro long blonde hair but average height. Okay, they're also not it. So I think it might not be a person from the, unless it was this one, Jacobson. Um, What is this gonna spell? That's a very long name. <laughs> it sucks that we don't have his uh, address book so we can't figure out if this could match anything. If you know this, by the way, you're an insane anagram solver. If you look at this and you immediately see what the name could be. Uh, I think I looked at all of them now. Uh, did I look at this one? Juno, Guthrie, Jacobson? No. But none of these match the descriptions, right? But that's interesting. Okay, I gotta leave here because I'm being looked at. Uh, let's think. Oh, there's stuff there. You know this person, obviously, because you work with them. Are you guys having a little... Gone? Everything is gone? You're panicking a little bit? Uh, do they have any surveillance footage? They might have. I would need to get the code though Which this would obviously be illegal To go in here. Will they see this? Why is it making the most annoying sound of all time? Oh, I don't have lockpicks. I forgot about that. Whoopsie doopsie. I'm gonna have to buy some lockpicks. I'm actually gonna buy lockpicks before I even buy the... Oh, we also need to pick up the killer form anyway. Then take the fingerprints before I forget. People are gonna be yelling at me. Um... Take fingerprint. There we go. So we know it's probably fingerprint type B. We should also scan that, by the way, over here. I mean, it's probably not going to be the case, but sometimes you can scan. We can scan the fingerprints real quick to see if we get type A on this magically. Because uh, people hang up their own camera or their own uh, little picture. It seems like we're not getting the... That's his fingerprint. Okay, so get me out of here. I don't want to be here. What am I doing? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I got a little lost. Okay, so it's not one of the co-workers, which is actually going to make this a pretty difficult crime, which I'm excited for. Um, we have a fingerprint, which is really good. Why is everyone leaving beer at the crime scene, you bunch of monsters? Cockroach. Maybe these businesses are going to have surveillance camera footage. But as I said before that, uh, I would like to say warm hello. Have you seen anything suspicious? What do I look like? A newspaper? No, I haven't. Sir, I thought we were... We were having a little bonding session around the fire and instead you're yelling at me? Rude. That's a beautiful city city hall right here. We're gonna be going by here quite a lot. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. I'm, uh, never mind, whatever. Hello there. Wait a minute, I never recognize you. Why are you covered in shit? Like, literally. <laughs> what the hell? You don't have long blonde hair hair, though. What are they talking about? Ooh, there's a sink disc here, but as I said, we're not going to be stealing those. Okay, so now we have the form that we need to fill in. Do we already know? Do you have evidence that places the killer at the crime scene? Yes, this fingerprint. But we don't know anything else about the killer. So what we can do also is... This is the Red Gum Reaper, by the way. So there's different factions in the world, which they don't really seem to interact all that much. But... Um, I, that's probably gonna be something for the future where they're gonna be building up like you could I would love to see that this game has like infinite potential. Oh god. This is so expensive. There goes I can't buy a photo cam anymore um, Which is unfortunate but we're, we'll be fine. We got to solve the crime. We are we are entrenched in this murder uh, So we could talk to you see if you know anything or check out the surveillance camera footage 
at the... Hmm. There's got to be some surveillance camera footage at the crime scene. I mean, it literally happened in broad daylight. If they were walking around Flower Parade, right? Maybe we should check that instead? Why did this one not pick anything up, by the way? Is there another camera right here? There does seem to be another camera right here. But there's a person sitting right there who's gonna see me lockpick that and is not gonna be happy about that and then punch me in the face. So that's not gonna be an option. Uh, so maybe we should check the camera footage of the building instead. Why is everyone leaving trash all over this, man? Although it does seem like they... I mean, this window got broken in the shot. Okay, let me just sneak in here. Don't look at... You're literally looking at me. That's not allowed. Shit. It wasn't me! Go away! You peas? So these cases, you can solve them in... Okay, well, you're annoying. I might have to wait a little bit until this place closes. Why don't we go check out if we can find the gun store and maybe see if anyone... Holy shit, your legs. Maybe if anyone bought a shotgun recently? I mean, we have such a long description. Hello. Do you know anyone? Can I talk to you? Have you seen anything unusual? Yeah, there was someone just going... I just want a location. It probably is too late. Maybe I should have ran after the killer. Long blonde hair hair. So they all have seen the killer. I saw them today at Mercer Street around 45... 645. Okay, Mercer Street. They were nearby Long Street. What a name for a street. Mercer Street. We have an exact time. So if there is... A camera or surveillance cameras here. Wait a minute. So they did run this way then. So they did run past this camera, but were not picked up on the camera. That's a little unfortunate for me. Um, I guess we could check this one. No one is here. No one is here. Don't look at me. Yes, lockpick. Only four lockpicks this time. I only have 30 lockpicks, so we're going through these quickly. I like the early game where you're so short on cash because soon you'll get so much money that it doesn't matter too much. Okay, let's see. So... This is... We need the forward... Wait, they're both forward. No, they're not both forward facing. Um... I would really like to do this one. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, 45. That's not long blonde hair, right? That's brown hair. Wait, that is long blonde hair. Tall! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Surveillance footage. <laughs> this is such a good game, man. I'm immediately addicted again. Um, long blonde hair. Tall. Muscular. It does say they are female and not non-binary, though, which is, uh, I don't know how accurate. They were literally at the exact time of the murder, though. They match all the descriptions except, except, except non-binary. I don't know how, how much I need to go off of that. Okay, other camera real quick. I doubt they went this way. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Okay, wait a minute. Female, average height, long blonde hair. Okay, so also not it. Interesting. This could be potential. I'm just gonna put that... I should actually print that out then so I know where it, where this hunch came from so we're later, later not gonna be super confused. And I should print out a photo and then put it down and then have it over here so we have a little information. Interesting. Okay, we could ask if people know that person. Uh, but let's first look at this hotel, by the way. Um, go down into one of these buildings and see if we can find the gun store. Because we need to prevent a next murder from occurring. Although, hello there. Do you know this person? Do you know this person? If I I'm not telling you, you dickhead. Do you know this person? None of your business. Okay, never mind. People don't like me. I just wanted to see if we can get the name of this person. I haven't seen them around. Okay, they just don't know. I gotta actually see them. The amount of stuff that's like generated for these people is crazy. Hello, I need to know who this is. Imagine one of, sorry, that's personal. If one person just has a random name, as if I tell you, you guys are all dickheads. You know this? This is why I needed the beauty disc, because then they would be nicer to me. Okay, anyway, uh, maybe you. Maybe you want to talk to me. That's my neighbor, Selma is squared Really into creative writing. Salma is squared though. Wait a minute. Let's see. Is that even remotely this? There's no Q in this, so it can't really be this person. So we we have we're living together. I found the partner by accident. Whoopsie daisy. I haven't seen them around. How have you not seen them around when you know it's <laughs> okay? Alright, anyway, so yeah, that's that person is off the so we're gonna unlink this. Just so we know. 
that that's not relevant. It seems like they weren't picked up on the surveillance camera, which is fair. That happens sometimes. Um, okay, so next lead. So surveillance camera footage or surveillance at crime scene. I'm going to say that's an X. We have ruled that out. Workplace, also X, which is problem. So now we're going to add a new lead. Weapon dealer maybe has sold... I should probably do one X there. Um, probably sold the weapon to this person, which would be... I mean, if we can find the weapon store to begin with, they're usually in basement. So in a basement, you can go around and there will be some just regular apartments, but also some not very legal establishments usually, but they, you got to find them yourself because they won't be um, on the map, which is unfortunate. Maybe this one right here. I want to lock like this. So this is just a tower. The other one just says unknown. Maybe that's also there's the, the passcode again. Don't look at me. I'm quickly going to unlock this. Check if this is maybe a weapon store. I feel like they would have would be open at this late hour, though. Yeah, this is just someone's house. I apologize. <laughs> Didn't mean to get in there. Okay. So I'm going to check around a few basements to see if I can find it. Hello there. I think this might be it. I see a rifle right there. Uh, I have the passcode for this. So we... Yes, there it is. We have the black market trader and the weapons dealer right next to each other if i walk in here they're gonna shoot me so let me graphite diy is what this is called let me knock on the door password for this was azure right azure okay sometimes the password gets a little buggy so i would like to buy something password i know the password azure no not it Nice try, pal. Okay, yeah, this is... What? <laughs> Excuse me? Wait, but it did accept it. Oh, okay, so you said it wasn't it, but it was it. That's just how it goes sometimes. Okay, so here you can buy your own weapons, which, by the way, you can't shoot these. I don't know if they ever plan to make, like, add shoot mechanics, but you can't do that right now. It would be cool, though. Um, I, what I really would like to see is more different, like, paths you can take as a detective. Like, imagine you could become friends with citizens... And then they could get potentially murdered, and then you could try to solve that crime. And then instead of delivering the person that did the murder to the police, you deliver them to some fucked up criminal organization that you build up a bond with. Like, the amount of potential things that you could add to this game is just amazing. Okay, uh, can I go in here now? I can go in here now. Um, I just want to see the ledger. Yeah, there we go. Ledger. Uh, oh. Pedersen? I think that might be... That could be the crumple paper. Pedersen. K. Pedersen. K. Pedersen. It totally fits. That's why... And they bought a shotgun 25 minutes before the murder? Talk about... <laughs> what is it called? Procrastination? They're the professional at it. Also, the guy... Wait, they must have known that something was going down. Because this guy, the one who got murdered also bought a, a pistol he brought a pistol to a shotgun fight and he lost <laughs> and they're equally expensive too okay so it is a hundred percent this mystery person um that is the so let, let's make some so you you're fine you're the person who reported the crime so you don't have to keep everything i like the so people sometimes i get like why are you pinning so many things it doesn't matter i like to have a little story like instead of pinning like five items that are relevant i like to pin a whole story of things that i've done so i get to kind of see look at it later and be like oh yeah i tried that lead that didn't really work i tried that lead just to give myself some feedback on how i solved each different case because i know from experience that the sales record of a gun store is extremely powerful so i want to try and like approach different murders from different strategies which i'm gonna try and like do it as varied as possible because you can kind of get locked into certain strategies where just figuring out crimes really easily by going through the same paths but i want to i want to spice it up so anyway we're going to be making our own custom link here um this is the name uh and we're going to make that green so we know we made it so this is the person uh they bought a gun <clears throat> uh bought shotgun over here boom we got all those links uh so we need to figure out who the hell that is and where he lives uh, I think I'm going to not allow myself to pin the sales record, though, actually. Because I think this automatically updates, and then it will be too OP. 
Because we could look at this every time there's a murder and be like, what's the new name in the thing? So <laughs> let, let's keep it a little spicy. Okay, we at least can go in there later and we know where it is now. Uh, so we're going to be leaving and finding a uh, a city like phone book to see where this person lives. Uh, where is a local phone booth? I could probably go in here. As long as you guys are open, you guys are open. Hello there. Everyone just chilling out here. Also, you can play pool, but people hate this, I think. Look at this. Uh, wait, wait. I'm trying to shoot, but it's not letting me. Okay, I guess I can't shoot. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to. Maybe I have to hold a another thing. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I, I've done that in the past, and it did work in the past. All right, see the directory. We need to find K. Hederson. Hederson. They live as the neighbor. I should have looked. Of course, the neighbor. They had a little neighborly dispute about who made the most noise. I hope my neighbors are not going to shoot me for screaming at horror games all the time. That would be very unfortunate for me. Um, hello there. He's just running around. Juicy Champion. Pawn shop right here. Oh, cool. I've never seen this sign before. I'm just mesmerized, but mesmerized by all the neon lights. They really nailed the vibe of like a, of a, a future, like a hyper-industrialized city uh, with all kinds of different cultures mashed together. Okay, here we go again. I can actually go down here and immediately make my way to it. So we are looking for this house right here. Hello? No one home, huh? Where could you be? Maybe out disposing of the murder weapon? I probably don't have cameras in here, I hope. Okay. Oh, there the red. This is so cool. So I love how detailed that is. This is the red gum poster. Um, this is the symbol of the red gums. So if you find someone the red gum reaper, I don't know how the police would know that, but red gum poster in the house of the potential killer does seem pretty suspicious. Um, he's got notes, shopping list, work rotation. You work as a street stall vendor. Also, Chris, Christian Pedersen. Oh, Orlando Brinkley. Kitchen hand. They got a partner. Let's see. Are you going to have a bunch of... Why do you? Why do these people all have credit cards and organ donor cards from random people? They're actually both, like, criminals. <laughs> that seems so suspicious. Yeah, this is weird. I've never seen this before. I don't know if that's actually a thing or if the game is a little confused. Um... There doesn't seem to be much here, though. We're going to have to find out where they are. I would love to have find, found a picture of them in any way. Because um, right now we have nothing. What we could do... Wait a minute. We could go... Now that we know their full name, right? Christian... Christian Pedersen. Let's put that over here. Because we know their full name. We could go to the... Sit I'm going to turn off the lights. Leave no trace. Did I turn on that light? I did also. They're going to be so confused. There we go. I don't think I can lock the door again. Okay. So we can go to the city hall. City hall. And now that we have a full name but no picture, we can retrieve the picture by uh, searching in the citizen database in the city hall. Because I don't think I can ask you about this, right? Have you? Do you know this person? I don't think they're going to say anything because there's not a picture. That's not enough to go on. Yeah, I mean, if you wouldn't recognize their name, it would be. Uh, I just still love that the window also broke. Uh, but I, they might not know them. Or it might just never work if you don't have a... Um, I should have checked for fingerprints in that house as well. Sorry, I should have obviously done that. But we pretty much know that this is the killer. Uh, not this, right here. Uh, so you used to be... I think they changed it. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, they did change this. So you used to be able to sit on any of these computers here in the lobby and it would give you the citizen database. Uh, that's not a thing anymore. Also, you guys got sync this laying around. You now have to go. This is still a public area, but you have to go deeper into the facility. <sighs> Shit. I don't have the code for this. Wait. Oh my God. Is that a note? No, it's not. I need to find a note. Please have the note. Don't take the money. Because we need to log in here. We could buy a code breaker but we don't have the money for that come on note no note oh, we, we might have to do something insane here would that actually work because this is like a different let's see right 
Yeah, it's IV Ward Administrator that we need to get the code for. Okay. Oh. Aha. Five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two. Will that work? Five, four, three, two. Let's go, Mitchell Canada. Uh, government database. Here we go. So we are looking for Christian Pedersen. Print that out. You can see, by the way, I'm obviously very familiar with all these different systems, but it's so fun to learn all these different puzzle pieces and how you can put them together. There we go. Uh, we have type A fingerprint. Bada bing, bada boom. It even says it over here. So this is another really strong system. The uh, gender non-binary. Um... And I, they live there. Does it say tall, long blonde hair? Not date there, obviously. And fingerprint on the crime scene. Okay, so we figured out who it is. What is the full name of the killer? Christian Pedersen. Uh, they are their neighbors, and they obviously had a little fight about that. Now we need to arrest them. Where does the killer live? We know that the basement. Have you located the murder weapon? No, but I think they will have it. Okay, so now that we have the name, let's pretend we were never here, um, and maybe ask someone. Hello. Do you know this person? I saw them today at Mercer Street around 45 p.m. Okay. They look mad. They were nearby McDonald Parade, of course. Headed west. Okay, wait, what? Interesting, they went a different way. Hello, do you know this person? None of your business. All right, do you know this city person? Do you know this person? This one. I saw them somewhere around Kamur Kamara Heights. Got sick hair, by the way. Okay, thank you. That doesn't really help me very much because that's just their home. Okay, so they worked as fuck. I should have pinned that down. What did they work as? Does it say in the citizen profile? Um, job title: street stall vendor. Okay, yeah. So they're probably out on the street somewhere, at a stall. We should also buy handcuffs, and we need to find. Um, yeah, yeah. Just put that down. I know, I know. We need to find where they are. I still hope... Can Did they add that? That you can now buy stuff from street vendors? Because you can buy stuff from this. By the way, I think we deserve... I know we don't have very much money. Uh, but... Oh, I was gonna want a cola... Or, or a coffee. Not a cola. I'm not a starch cola kind of guy. I'm sorry. I know that's blasphemous. Because that's the... That's the people who lead the city. Also, cockroach. What a name for... <laughs> a name for an establishment. Okay, they said they were headed west from McDonald's Parade. Uh, let's see if we can find a street vendor. All these street vendors are closed right now. I don't know. Maybe the street vendor cartel attacked this person. They were like, what the hell? Oh, by the way, we also really want this. Yeah, cartographer. This is a great way to make early game money because receive or receive five pros or credits for exploring new locations is extremely easy when you start off because every location is new. So we want to try and get that. I mean, if we can solve this crime, we'll have $500. Where do you guys know this person? Let's see. Do you know this person? I saw them somewhere around Kimura Heights. Yeah, I know that's their house. That doesn't help me at all. I don't know if they're at work right now, but they didn't work. They weren't at home either. So it's like, where the hell did they go? Hello there. You just walked away. No, I feel like that. You look very angry. I feel like they wouldn't go back to their like stall after murdering someone. That would be, I mean, honestly, kind of a way to not look too suspicious. Just going back to work right away after. But I've kind of ran around everywhere and didn't see them. And also, it seems like just no one is at work right now, when at least in terms of vendors. Because uh, it is very late right now. It's it's 11 p.m. Uh, hello, do you know this person? They were around Camara Heights. Yeah, you're not helping me. Okay, maybe I should just go back to their house. Maybe they did a little trip around the city, thinking about what they've done, and now they're returning to their house. They're probably going to see, like, wait a minute, someone went through my shit. Are you back here? We need to find you before you kill again. Maybe they're out there hunting for the next spray. Locked again? Wait a minute. It's the person. Okay. Wait a minute. I don't think I want them to see me. So they're back home. I mean, it's gotta be them, right? They're like, what the hell? Hello? Anyone there? Nope. Not me. Are they gonna step outside and I can sneak behind them? So in this case, you could bash in the door and knock them out with the door. But I want to try and avoid using the door knock strategy because uh, I don't know. I like to I like to play this game in like the most immersive way possible for myself because it's just how I enjoy this game. Like I enjoy the vibes, I enjoy the atmosphere, um, and like kind of acting like a real detective just adds so much to it for me. 
Um, instead of just being like this goofy guy who kills everyone with a trash can, which is what I've done on stream in the past. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so they were probably asleep then, huh? What are you doing? I'm gonna lockpick. I hear them walking. Maybe they. Come on, brush your teeth. Fuck! Shit. Shit. I've been busted. I've been busted! That was the perfect crime. Wait, I have the perfect crime idea. I'm in your walls. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> They're gonna go to the toilet. Wait, 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 wait. They're gonna go to the toilet, and then I'm gonna come out of the vent. Holy shit, the perfect crime. We just gotta wait for them to get back into the bathroom. <laughs> They're gonna brush their teeth. I'm gonna jump out of the vent, handcuff them, and they're gonna be like, what the hell? Okay, they might actually... Wait a minute. Maybe they are realizing that someone's onto them, and they're gonna run up. Oh, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I was just scared that they might have ran off. Okay, so they, they got baited by noise. What are they doing? Are they not seeing the vent open? This is such a... Oh, God. Oh, they closed the vent. Oh, there he goes. But he's taking a shower. I'm looking at this guy taking a shower. I can't jump out, though. He's gonna be... It's like the freaking psycho scene, dude. Come on, sir. Get out of the shower. Oh, God. They're gonna be naked. Dude, they're taking a shower too long. I'm gonna freeze to death in this vent, man. I don't think I could go around easily. Maybe I could. Because now would be the best time to jump them from behind. While they're... Wait a minute. Yes. Wait, am I in their neighbor's house? I think I'm in their neighbor's house. I don't... Oh, I can hear them take a shower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, the perfect crime. The perfect crime doesn't exist. Just watch this. This freaking door, though. Please tell me they're still taking a shower and they're not looking at the front. They're looking... What do you... Are you back shower or front shower? I'm a front shower. Uh, where the fuck? Yes, yes. Keep locking the door. I'm gonna be out of lockpicks, man. Okay, don't you dare come out of the shower right now. They're just still taking a shower. Get shit on! <laughs> <laughs> Get caught at the shower. Take a long shower to think about that one, bitch. Duh. <laughs> Hello there. Do you or I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Thank God, please stop me before I do it again. That's right, bitch. <laughs> Why did you commit murder? Day the weak and unworthy must be eliminated. You mean your neighbor who probably made too much noise? All right, you peace. I need to search you. Do you have the murder? Well, you're kind of naked right now. Never mind. You have bugshot ammunition on you. Okay. Can I take take fingerprint real quick? No, 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 no. What is going on? I didn't even know you could take off handcuffs. <laughs> that was that was my bad. I just wanted to take their fingerprint. <laughs> Whoops. All right. At least they were nice about it. Okay. So now we have their fingerprint, which means that we now know that the fingerprint on the crime scene was this person right here. Okay. And there is the murder weapon. That was not here before. Of course. Got your fingerprints all over this one. Inspect. There we go. We have the ammunition. We got the murder weapon. So let's fill it in. We know the person we've arrested them. We have the fingerprint on the crime scene. We have located the murder weapon. It is right there. Shackley shotgun. What a fun first case. Such a different vibe of how I usually sold my cases. Now, that wasn't the new sniper case that they've added to the game. They've added a bunch of new things to the game, obviously. I was so immediately enthralled in the in the murder case that I didn't really even talk about all the new stuff. But they've added, uh, you know, you can climb the social ladder by getting more social credit. Um... I did just kind of leave the shower on, by the way. I'm kind of waterboarding them. Seems a little fucked up. <laughs> um, 
You can climb the social ladder and get higher social credit, which will actually now unlock perks. Before it did nothing until you reached the max, then you could win the game. Uh, now you unlock perks along the way, which one of the perks eventually is that you're allowed on crime scenes, which seems super useful. So that's one I definitely want. And the first one is actually required for you to even buy an apartment in the first place. So let's hand in the case. Let's double check our facts. Obviously, we found the killer. Uh... We have all the information. Here we go. Hand in case. First case, first murder. I don't think we've ever started this series with a murder so soon. Did we get it correctly? Obviously. I just want my money. I want to see my social credit. Name found. All the optional objectives. They, they get you so much extra cash. They don't actually give you additional um, social credit, but you want to get that money, obviously. Here we go, 500 social credit for solving that murder, plus 2,200. And we can now purchase an apartment in the city, which is amazing. It's also gonna allow us to buy some more lockpicks because we were almost out of lockpicks. So let's spend a little bit of our money. We're gonna buy 100 lockpicks. There we go, we got 100 lockpicks. Um, we already have, we should buy another handcuff just so we have it. Uh, we should buy a camera. So we got everything we need. We could also buy a weapon, but I don't really think I'm going to be fighting much. That's all we got. We got handcuffs and we got a camera. All right. Incredible first case. I'm happy with that. We could buy an apartment in the Sapphire Hotel. Honestly? Because we're paying... I mean, that might not be worth it compared to getting a room. Because you also have to pay for all the furniture. And I kind of like just having a room in the hotel for the first few days because it kind of feels fun. Feels like you're visiting the city and then you realize there's so much crime in the city. I'm the detective they need but not deserve. And then you stick around buying an apartment. I don't know. I like that vibe. So let's see. I'm going to be getting our next case. Um, I will leave this open. You can close this case now because we solved it. Uh, but I will leave it open for a little bit so we can look at it. Rare sync this cartographer, which is one we could buy. But I guess if we can do this case, that might be even easier. Because I want to get that case so we can get money early. Uh, destruction job. It, you can take multiple cases at once. Another photography case. Uh, I kind of want to take cases that give me... This one seems cool. Business. Skilled investigator to look into a business concern. But let's take this photograph case first. Let's uh, call this number. Uh, eight, five, six, zero, three, four. We have done barely scratched the surface of all the things you can do in an investigation, by the way. We're going to be seeing a lot more different strategy. The paid phone at Poison Storage Solutions. <laughs> what a name. Poison. We should also go to bed, potentially. It's pretty late. Poison Storage Solutions. What the hell? Wait. Storage. Wait, what? Where is that? Poison. I can't search it. Is it one of the locations I haven't found yet? How do I know where this is? It must be close, because... Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? How do I know where this is if I can't... Is that a basement apartment somewhere? Wait, this is stupid? How am I supposed to find this? What the hell? Blah, blah, blah. They're talking. Okay, wait a minute. Um, We could stay close and listen to if we hear a phone ring somewhere, but that's kind of fucked up. Uh, it's going to ring in about a minute, and I don't even know... It's got to be in the basement, right? Wait, let's see. What is a basement we have not explored yet? I've never had this location not be able to be found. Uh, it's got to be... To where am I right now? I am... Uh, can I center it on myself? Center on myself. Wait, what is this? Center on player. Oh, right there. I see. Um, go down one. So it's got to be... Is that poison storage solution? Goldberg Limited. It's a lone shark. Uh, we have... That, that's not it. It could be one of these places, potentially. Or this thing right here. Down there. Plot route. I think I'm going to wait to see if we hear it. Answer the telephone. Where is the telephone? Oh, all the way over there? Okay. At least you can see the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, is that in this basement? I don't know if I'll be able to make that. Why did you do this to me? That is indeed a basement thing. That might be an underground gambling den. Come on. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Maybe I have to even break in there. Yes, 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 I hear the phone. I gotta get it. Okay, pick up the phone. <laughs> there we go, we found a new location. <laughs> what the hell? Need a photograph of something. There's a briefcase hidden nearby with information about the mark. Okay. Deliver it under the door at 602 Schuster Tower. Sometimes the person who gives you the case can be important for, uh, for solving the case. Can I play pool here? I can't. It seems like pool is broken for now. Uh, all right. Briefcase. Hello there. What are you guys doing? What is this place like? Hi. 
It's insane how, like, the city feels so full of life. There's only 400 people. I mean, 400 people is quite a bit, but still. It's so full of life. Okay, what do we have? We have a picture of a person. But if you already have a picture, why do you need another picture? Excuse me? A lot of information here. What the hell? No idea where they live, though. But that's a lot of information. Okay. Wait. Um, let's see. I should put the fists away. I would like to ask you, have you seen this person? Unusual, huh? Hmm, don't believe I have. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what? I saw them somewhere around City Hall. Interesting. Okay, it could be someone working at City Hall. Hello there. You know this person? I saw them somewhere around Schuster Towers. Oh, it's one of the neighbors of the person. Okay, so we should write that down as well. Uh, or... We should pin 602 Schuster Towers um, because it is the place where the person who gave us the job lives. There we go. All right. Well, thank you guys for not kicking me in the face when I came running in here to pick up a phone that no one else luckily picked up. Okay. So we need to go. Uh, where's this even leading me towards? I set a waypoint to somewhere. Um, we need to go to City Hall. City Hall. So let's pin that so we get rid of the the fake marker it's very cold outside i also need to drink some i could have asked i could have bought something to drink there let's actually go into one of these establishments go is that a oh that's it i'm not allowed to be there i'm sorry i was just trying to get some food i guess i'll buy it from a newsstand right here oh yeah look at this discovery of a body a 33 year old male this has like little news feeds and sometimes it also has like a news or like a little television. Okay, so we can buy a cartographer, but we're gonna earn that here. Coffee, that's what I need right about now. Coffee, yum, yum, yum. Uh, we should also throw away our, oh my gosh, five credits. We also already got 2,000, man, we're rich. We're focused, we're no longer thirsty. I don't even know what focus does to be honest, throw that in the garbage, throw the briefcase in the garbage and get a little bit of food. What do we eat? We'll eat a yakisoba pan. Japanese fried buckwheat noodles served in a hot dog bun. Okay, yum yum. Park in the middle, by the way. Look at the trees moving. What the hell it is very windy right now? Hello, sir. I'm energized too. These are some depressing parks. <laughs> That's the only park in the entire city. The depressing looking place. Is there a trash can? Oh, I guess I'll just throw it in there. So many dumpsters around the city. Anyone emptying them? Or is there just so many dumpsters so then they can all fill up and you'll never have to empty any of them? Uh, alrighty. Do you know this person? Do you know this person? I saw them today at City Hall Ground Floor Lobby around 30 minutes ago. Okay. Uh, thank you. Do you know this person? I saw them today at City Hall. Third floor landing around 45 a.m. Okay. Third floor landing. <laughs> this is such a... I love the talking to people, man. That's why we got to get more upgrades. Oh, it's your ass. Wait a minute. Isn't it this guy? <laughs> what if I ask, do you know this person? <laughs> and then I give them a picture of themselves. <laughs> um... I'm actually really curious what they say. None of your business, come on, man. So this is him, right? You look a little different. Voice ID, yes. I'm assuming we just found that. Uh, blood type, address, we don't know any of that. Oh, they're gonna be mad at me. Yes, it's them. Oh God, it wasn't me. Oh shit, he's got a katana, bro. What the hell, he's, he's got a bat, Never mind. He's gonna try to beat me up with a bat because I took a photo of his back. What the hell, sir? Get me out of here. Okay, I figured it out. Goodbye. He was probably just at work and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? Okay, we need to go resolve. We know a picture right there. I'm assuming that counts. Plot right the hand and run away. Let's go. Another case solved. That was a fun one. Only a picture. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had a case where I just got a picture. Usually you get like a, hey, live on this floor and you have to go into their their house or in their floor and investigate everyone on the floor also there's these cases right here 
Last seen is just the towers between. Yeah, this is such a. These are such weird cases. A pipe. You can find a pipe, and then you can give get thirty crows for a safe return, or you could do literally any case and get like twenty times that amount. So <laughs> it is totally worthless to do those cases. Also, the first time we're gonna take an elevator in this uh, series so far. And I hope. I mean, I'll take any murder, uh, but I really want to see the new sniper case as well. I don't know if we can buy an apartment in one of the new buildings. 602. Well, I'm assuming. I'm just checking for key. If this is totally fine with you, hand that in. Uh, I have I have found it, but the, the arrow is still going. He is processing. Let me go down immediately. Pretend like I didn't do anything weird. There we go. Is that a whisper? What the fuck was that? I heard some weird sounds. <laughs> Probably someone watching TV. It seems like they've improved that because it used to be that no one actually used the TV And you only ever heard the TV in the tutorial case, which by the way, I highly recommend you play the tutorial case It's a super fun case um, Oh, yeah, they're watching TV uh, But I've obviously already done it. So I would already know the killer. So it would be kind of weird uh, Let me unpin the the route. Okay, pick up your reward. Here we go huge we get cartographer without having to pay for it at all plus we got even money in the process so now i would like to find out what our local sink clinic is sink clinic uh big guys street we could also go to an underground sink clinic but no thank you it's right around the corner here oh there's a tv look at that tv with a news feed below it the you should watch tv in this game in a little while it has so many fun references to movies there we go it's a self-help sink clinic. <laughs> I will use my bed. All right, so ventilation ducts gives you more, but it's ex you get so lost in ventilation ducts to the point where you sometimes never can get out of them anymore. Like it's super, <laughs> just the way they generate is a little wonky. So I'm gonna get this one, which I don't know if it's immediately gonna pay us for the locations we've already found. I doubt it. Um, yes, I don't think it did. Oh God. Yes, it didn't. But now every time we go in somewhere, we'll get paid a little bit. It won't pop up, but we'll slowly be gaining money over money. Okay, let's do another case. Is this closed? No, this is open. It's literally this is open. Um, hello there, everyone. We're out here chilling. There's more apartments for sale. I mean, we got three thousand uh, dollars. It's mostly basement apartments because we need to climb. Oh my God! Never mind. Ryong Heights, ancient districts. 18th floor the higher the better the apartments i mean that's kind of the case in real life too Thirty thousand, bro we're gonna need to work hard to get there eventually uh photography skills 1300 for a photo is insane i would like to do my god that's a lot of money I'd like to do a rare disc interceptor public humiliation that might be a case i could do rare disc interceptor seems good you know what let's do a little bit of public humiliation uh, I'm pretty bad at these cases. It can be difficult. Um, but if we're gonna give me a, a good sync disc for it, I'll take it. Hear about the job? Yes, I am. I'm looking around my shoulder. Payphone at Bushar Bar Parade Barbecue. Okay, well, I know where that is. That is the, the barbecue diner, right? Which is right over there. Is it right over there? I think it is. I love all these names. I love all the neon signs. Yes. That's the thing with these, by the way. I, I used to have to... Oh, no, it wasn't here. I used to have to generate a million cities to not have a bunch of streets blocked off. Sometimes there's a lot of blocked off streets, which is very annoying. Uh, this is it, I assume. I didn't even look it up. Barbecue? Uh, yeah, that is this. Okay. Just making sure. I am here. Why is the arrow? There we go. I want this person humiliated, chuck food in their face, make sure people see. Take a photo of them to prove it happened. Okay. <laughs> Deliver it under the door at 101 Reed Heights. Okay, you better give me a lot of information. There's a briefcase hidden nearby with information. Also, there's so many cases. Some of these cases are very similar to murder cases, by the way. If you get like a, um, um, a stolen item case or something. Where's it? Spar Spartan insurance is an amazing sink disc. So we're gonna have to come back to barbecue to take that case. Oh, there's the briefcase. Whoops. Potentially. 
Spartan insurance basically means that you don't have to pay for... Give me your crows if you want to live? Bro, we're in the... Excuse me. Uh, I think I have to pay him. Because he will always... He's got a box cutter. He's going to stab me once. And because we're playing extreme mode, he's going to instantly kill me. So I'm going to have to save my life here. Nice doing business with you, sucker. You peace? Look away. <laughs> My revenge! <laughs> Eat shit, bitch! Alright, I'm being chased by the other person. They're like, what the fuck? I just randomly assaulted someone. No, they assaulted me first! Can I steal from them, though? No, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, you piece. Alright, well, that's happening in this city. People steal from you. They actually made that more common now, so you gotta be careful in the dark alleyways now. Uh, okay. Regardless, what, does, what do we know about this person? We have that they are old, 57. Uh, enforcer. Partner, first name, Rang. Oh, wait a minute. That's huge. Lives on the fifth floor of Heart Projects. Okay. So, we know their partner name is Rang Rangi. And they are an enforcer, which is huge information. Which means I kind of want to go to City Hall and just figure out if we can... If the first name is enough to find the partner... Wait, they actually cleaned up the body. Wait, look at that. They cleaned up the body because... And they even boarded up the window because I solved the crime. Look at that. All right, here we are. Is this still unlocked? Please tell me it's still unlocked and there's no one in here. Let us go. Oh, God. All right, so we need to search up Rangi. Rangi Q. I mean, we already know that they're on the fifth floor, right? This just slightly speeds things up. It's not that big of a deal. Um, let's get out of here. It wasn't me most said sentence in my playthroughs <laughs> it's never me okay so we have this profile do we know where they live they live on 501 okay so they probably also live on 501 so now we have just narrowed it down otherwise we would have just had to go into every single building finding the person potentially um now we don't have to do that and we immediately know the address very different looking apartment complex okay there's cameras there hello uh, I need to. Th I don't have food to throw in their face. Wait a minute. Whoops. Um, yeah. I, let me. I'll, I'll be right back. Let me get some food. I'd like to buy something. What do we throw in their face? Very important. I feel like. What's the most embarrassing? Churros. They're very like sugary and sticky. That might be. <laughs> that is. I think churros got to be it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Hello there. Okay. Cameras are pointed at the door. Do you have a key underneath the door? Sometimes they do. I only need to throw it in your face. So let's hope it's not this person who comes to the door, but the other person. Uh, do we have to figure out their name? I think we do. This is going to be so funny. We're going to ask their name and then throw food in their face and take a picture. And they're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Open the door. I should maybe turn off the camera so it doesn't get spotted. That's another thing I would actually really like to have in this game. Okay. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Um... I'm sorry. Could I come take a look around? I didn't know you were going to be naked. Not a chance. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, for 50 bucks, though? I don't want you snooping around my things. Okay. Is your partner home? Wait, 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 wait. I need to ask, do you know this person? Uh, oh, fuck. We don't have a picture of them. It's unknown citizen. Okay, never mind then. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, close the door. I don't... <laughs> I would do the same. Customers by nomination only. Contact your local LGEM representative. I'm like, thing, don't see me. My grandpappy. We're watching TV. We're probably gonna be distracted. Okay, turn off that. I need to get in here. Don't look at me. That's a huge lock you got. Hello there. Lock picking lawyer. Click out of one. Click out of two. Three is binding. And we're gonna be in here in a second. Be careful. But they're gonna be sleeping. I'm gonna be sitting on the bed. What? Where the fuck did they go? They are sleeping. Okay. So the partner isn't home, which means the partner is probably some kind of bar worker. Open the files. Let's see. Haruto. No, that's uh, the doctor here. 
or Aretha Guerrera. Okay, the, so that is the person we're looking for. They're right there. They're right there. Wait. Yes. I need to find a picture, man. Ah! Oh, God. They're gonna turn on the lights. I need to go into the fucking closet, bro. Don't, don't look in the closet. No, 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 no! Oh, God! It wasn't me! Help! Help! I was in your closet! This <laughs> is okay. Oh, God. Yep. Uh, whoops. What the hell are you doing? Stop it, please. I did just get beat up once and immediately my face is all black and white. Okay. I need to find out your name, though. Are you still following me? I mean, I know your name. Is this enough? Can I, like, say identify the perp this? Reward zero. I need to throw food in their face. Well, I guess that's happening now. Hello there. Are you still still running around? Oh, that's Ranji. Oh, that's not the person I need to find. The person I need to find is sleeping. Okay, that was an insane. Um, uh, that was the worst of all time. Okay, well, uh, hello there. This is rude as hell. It said, no, 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 don't eat the chewers. <laughs> Just try to close this. Okay, that's clearly the citizen. Can I find anything about you? I need to find... Oh, God. I mean, is this going to be good enough? Let's see. So, let's... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Uh, Aretha Guerrera. Is that... Did that... I can't do that. I need to have this person. Is this going to work? Let's find out. So, if I throw this in your face... No. No, it was supposed to be in their face. It was supposed to be in their face! The other person is going to come... Why is it not working? Fuck! Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not. What? This is the. I'm the worst detective of all time. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Whoops! Why did it not work? I threw it right at them. I was steamagging on top of their bed. Did that actually count? It did not count. Okay. God damn it. Uh, I think I need them to stand up, and then I need to throw food in their face, but I just used my food, and I don't want to run in there and pick it up, so I'm going to grab two more food. Uh, hello there. I might look a little worse for wear, because I just got hit in the face by a hammer. A coffee in the face? That's brutal. Let's just throw a cheeseburger in the face. Maybe these are better. Churros were not my jam. All right, I'm going to go back there. Hopefully, this lady will not be there. I mean, she's going to be at home. <laughs> That's so annoying. Alrighty, uh, let me guess. You close. You locked the door again. God damn it. Okay. Oh no 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 no. What the fuck? You immediately pulling out a damn. What is this? Putting all this shank. Where are you? Where have they gone? It was literally me. What are you talking about? Is she, are you the same guy who was drunk before and then told me about the killer? Dude, look at those cheeks though. <laughs> Stop being here. Are you living here? What are the chances of you living here? Are you fucking kidding me? I've seen you like seven times around the city. The game damn knows, dude. The way they generate the cases. I'm telling you, the game picks like people and, and puts them in the same area. Just so you always see familiar faces to create these interesting stories. It's clever. Okay. Um. I need to throw food in your face. That's all I got to do. It's not that complicated. So what I'm going to do is turn on the light switch. Grab my fried chicken. And then throw it in your face. There we go. Get fucked. Goodbye. <laughs> that was so fucked up. So it doesn't actually have to be in public, by the way. It's a very important thing about those cases. Yeah, those, I don't tend to, that might be the only time in this entire playthrough you see one of those cases. Cause they're not my favorite. They're, I don't know. I like to do the more mysterious investigative cases. And these are more of the kind of meme case. I mean, they're, totally normal cases but they feel a little they have a different vibe to it okay um well we did it plot route to hand in i needed to call a number it's my phone uh i'm at a pay phone trying to call home all of my change i spend on you hi you did it i did you better have 
That better have counted, I swear. If that didn't count for some reason, I'm gonna be upset. I get 250 social credit. It did count. I got 600 bucks. Do I? Where do I get my? Oh, I get it in my inventory immediately. Let's go. Nice. Okay, good stuff. We did it. And now I would really like to install this sync disk immediately. Um, sync networks. Bad Guy Street Sync Clinic. Bad Guy Street. That's a name. Um, if you're playing this game, you might be playing like on the default city. I don't know if you have to. I don't think you have to play on the default city to do the tutorial case. But I know the default city is like handcrafted, so there's not going to be any weird generation bugs. But as you can see, the city is totally functional, looks amazing, has lots of fun areas to it. And this is all like something I made with the new city editor, which is an amazing uh, tool that they added. I haven't played since they last added that. Like, that's such a nice feature. Because I used to reset like over and over and over again. Um, to get a good city, but now I can just set one up for myself. Gain 10 credits for tying addresses, address information to citizen names. Gain 25 for gathering citizen passcodes. Okay, interesting. Hmm. So 25 for gathering citizen passcodes. I kind of feel, I mean, tying addresses to citizen name is a lot easier, but I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to do gathering citizen passcodes. This is just, it's more money, and we're going to be doing that quite a bit as well. I don't know, you would have to think about this. It's just more money overall, right? If I eventually get everyone's password, or password, I would have made more money this way. Can I buy a sync disc here, by the way? Vending machine? Well, I can buy a sync disc upgrade vial, but I don't have any of that. Can I buy from you? Hello, sir. I'd like to buy something. Tenacity, interesting. Increases the power of punches by 20%. Increases throwing power by 20%. When taking damage, the first impact is negated. That is amazing. I'm gonna do that. That's very expensive, but having that disc early. The negating one punch so that if I get shot, like if I get shot by a rifle, I'll instantly die. This way I won't instantly die, which is a huge, um, taking damage gives you the focus status effect. So this one could actually be upgraded a few times. It is no longer possible to get the bleeding status effect. That's actually really useful. What? Increased power punches by a further 10%. I just don't really want to punch people in the face. Increases the perceived threat of raising your fists in combat by 100%. Holding options in front of you can block 90% of damage from incoming bullets. What a weird thing. <laughs> This one, throwing power. Throwing is really strong. But I'm going to go defensive. Let's go defensive this playthrough. Because um, we're not going to be punching all too much. Okay. Uh, that's sorry for the flash once again. But that's some good disc that we got early. And we got the cartographer disc, which is what I wanted. Uh, we still have enough money to upgrade this one as well, potentially. But I don't think that is the best one. The best one I would rather upgrade right away is something like the... Uh, the one that gives you more inventory spaces are really good. I think we're going to go back to the... Uh, diner now and take that other case that gave us the uh, can give us the other thing. I it's this pretty late though. Maybe I should take a rest. You know what? Let's take a rest first because it's very late. Uh, we deserve some sleep after three solved cases already. Pretty fast. I've only been playing for like a little over an hour. Um, that's, that's especially that murder right away. What the hell's with that? Hello. I would like to get a hotel room. Uh, what rooms do you have available? We have a range of suites available. Our cheapest are 100 credits per night. And the expensive are the Luke suites are available at 200 credits per night. Now, the problem with the Luke suites is that from my experience, they don't tend to have showers, which is very strange. So I'm going to take a cheap room to see if that one has a shower potentially. I also get an achievement for going uh, higher, higher a hotel room. 403 payment is due daily. Uh, cause I don't know, I just, I want a shower, man. Is that too much to ask in a hotel room? I feel like that's one of the absolute bare necessities. The, this room looks so sick. Look at that chandelier, man. The open area in the middle. I've never been in a hotel like this, but this is a really cool, it seems dangerous, but cool design. Okay, 403 is our hotel room. Here we go. I have the key. Does this have a shower? This has a shower. How are the deluxe suites deluxe if this one has a shower? Wait, why did the lights not work? Okay, I guess that's broken. The deluxe suites, this is way more deluxe than the deluxe suites. Okay, I don't get it. We got a free tissue box. Thank you. We get even free money. What the hell? I'm not sure that's supposed to be there. Okay, so we're going to take some rest. 
Work, drink, starch. Uh, turn off, uh, we, we, well, we'll turn off the lights. Never mind. I'm gonna be waking up in complete darkness. That's gonna be sad. Okay. We're gonna sleep until, like, eight. Six hours of sleep? That's, no, that's five hours of sleep. Five hours of sleep? More than enough for me. There we go. Good morning. Uh, sleeping in this game can take a really long time because they actually have to simulate all of the citizens moving around. So, <laughs> yeah, I always skip through that. Okay. Uh, brand new day. We made a lot of money on our first day, which is very good. Uh, we solved the humiliation case. I'm going to close that one. Close case. Uh, I'm going to close the photography case. I'm going to leave the killer case open for now, but I just want to make some space. Uh, we could use the killer case as notes, potentially. All right. And we got even a few sink uh, this already. This is the best start ever. Can I drink from the sink? I'm not from the hot tap. The cold tap. I cannot drink from the sink. Uh, this is so much more deluxe. I think they might have actually accidentally mistitled the, the room names. Because this is like three times better than the actual deluxe suites which don't even have a shower. Like it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Maybe I just got the unlucky suite every time. But it seems like there's always one room assigned as deluxe and as cheap. And you're just getting the same room over and over again. Right, can I pay my bill immediately? Why are you guys not working right now? Excuse me. Well then. Uh, vending machine right here. Some more lost items. Can I get a coffee? Sugar? Oh, yeah, this one. A one time. So, if you install this, oh, you get a one time payment of 5000 into your account. Disclaimer uninstall cost is 6000 Consumption of starch cola products will reduce the uninstall cost by five credits. Consumption of competitor products will increase it by one. So, you get a loan of 5000 credits, but they install some disc in your head. Uh, which I don't think is a good idea. Hello there. Everyone just moving around. There might have already been another murder committed. And we haven't seen it yet. Usually around this time, the city is actually quite dead. It seems like people... It's one of those night cities where people mostly wake up at night. Um, locked! God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna go to... Not Juicy Champion. I just want some food. I'll go to the diner. Get some food over there. That place gotta be open. It just said it was open 24-7, right? Hello there, cop. There's just cops at the corner of the street side. Is this your patrol work right now? Hello? I can't even talk to you. It's weird. Sometimes unknown citizens, you can't talk to them at all. A little strange. They might not really exist. I'm not sure. No one is here. Hello? Can I talk to Cash? Oh, you can talk to this, right? Yeah. So this is a little trick. If no one is at the, the diner for some reason... You can go to the menu and order straight from the menu and you'll just get it in your inventory. Uh, I can't, I'm drinking a coffee. That's for sure. That's how I start my morning every day. By the way, is sleeping is so fucked up. Uh, if I sleep like seven and a half hours, I'll feel tired as hell. And then if I sleep eight hours, I feel rested as hell. Why is that 30 minute difference to me? It's like, I don't know. It makes all the world in difference. Cause you, Especially if you sleep like seven hours. I feel like I haven't slept at all. It's like, what the hell, man? It's seven hours of sleep, but that somehow eight hours is such, feels like so much more than seven hours, even though it should be almost the same, like percentage wise. Anyway, I don't know if I'm the only one with that. But then power naps are the most OP thing. I know uh, if you haven't heard about power naps, it's actually a life hack that I wish I discovered earlier in life. Sometimes I'm like, holy shit, I'm so tired for before stream. And I'll just take like at literally 15 minutes. I'll close my eyes and I feel like I slept the whole night. It's crazy. Um, anyway, here we go. Spartan insurance. This might be a very difficult case because it's a thousand credits, but I would love to get that early. Eight, three, eight, six, one, five, five. It's always fun to see in the comments, by the way, how many people, like, got into this game because of the playthroughs we've done on them. Cockroach fast fries. Okay, that's very close. And I highly recommend it. It's just, just, it's just the most vibey game I've ever played. Like, the, it makes me want to just play it in the middle of the night, room dark, immerse myself, put on sound, maybe open the windows to get a little breeze in sometimes to make it colder, get a coffee, and just... <laughs> Like, act like a detective. Okay, anyway, cockroach is... I guess I'll search it up. Uh, where is cockroach? Cockroach fast fries. And I can see this game not being for everyone. It's like, if you like thinking about games, like, this is the ultimate thinky game. And especially as someone who has 
like, uh, studied how to make games in, like, computer science. This game is so impressive, like, how the fuck does this all work? Like, it's just... It's, it's very, very impressively done. This phone is gonna ring, right? Oh, no, talk to the person sitting here. Whoops, hello. Uh, is this Faye? Good, you made it. Hello? I need a photograph of somebody. Somebody. That leads for the third in this briefcase. You better have good information. Deliver it under the door at 1103 Schuster Tower. We haven't seen that yet, but there's a new murder report. Let's go. Another murder? We have been playing for like a little over an hour and a half and there's already two murders. What the hell? Okay. Well, we're definitely going to be solving that. Okay. We're going to get a briefcase here. New murder case. What did it say? 11, 1103. Something reads. Reed Heights. There we go. Oh, that's a one house place. Okay. All right, I need the briefcase. Could you give me the briefcase, sir? Did you give it to me? Give me the fucking briefcase, bro. I know I canceled it. Give me the briefcase. You didn't give me the briefcase, sir. Wait, do you have it on you still? Uh, did the game bug out because I got a murder case at the exact same time? I think it bugged out because I got a murder case at the exact same time. Uh, unless I need to select this. Oh, there we go. I needed to select the case so it, it completed the action. Okay. Can I please open the... Oh, no. Drop it. Pick it up. Open it. There we go. I figured it, you gotta th you gotta think outside the box sometimes to fix all these things. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm excited. We got a photo thingy, a quiet camera. We already did that stuff. I usually throw my briefcases out into the uh, into the ocean, by the way, because I don't want them to just be hanging around. Okay. What do we have as information on this? Not that I'm gonna do this case right now. I'm just curious. We got a fingerprint, and we got that they work here and partner first name. Okay. So we'll be able to search that up in the database. Uh, anyway, I'm mostly interested in this new murder case. 15, wait, never mind. It's 1501 Reed Heights. So, this is a mechanic in the game, which is really cool that they added. Um, there is super high social areas where you simply aren't allowed to be if you're not high on the social ranking, which is called the Echelon Zone. Uh, so we might be heading into the Echelon Zone right now because it is so high. The higher you go in the buildings, the more fancy they get. I mean, if I'm going to be right next to the city hall, I might as well take the... Take this real quick. Get resolution from... All right, go, go, go. Do we have handcuffs? We do have handcuffs. We still have our cheeseburger. Let's eat that while we run. Eat that while we run through our location. The police is running, but they're getting tired. Okay. Police is going to the crime scene. We need to be there before them. That would be incredible. Because I'm going to be taking... Uh, oops. I don't know what I just did. Um... We're going to be taking the elevator, which means I should be faster. That's almost the top floor. Is this... I, I'm curious. Is this going to be a new sniper case? Yes or no? By the way, if you want to see more of this game, I have done a full playthrough before this. Um, where we have gotten some incredible stories throughout that. It's so fun to, like, share the stories of this. Because it's such a story generator game to be able to put it in a video and share with you guys. Uh, it's really fun. Okay, we don't have a key. Lock this, lock this immediately. We got a speedrun. The police is coming in very soon here. I don't know who is. Are they here right now? Fuck. Wait, there's someone home, bro. Hello. Uh, what's your name? Liz Bo. You're there's a. I see blood over there. Can I come in to take a look around? No, sorry, please. I will pay you for this. Oh, sure, I don't mind. Okay, we got gas pass. Okay, go, 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 go. I'm at the crime scene. Oh no, I'm not allowed to be. This is the stupid thing of the echelon zone is that it's kind of bugged because even if you get a gas pass, you're still not allowed to be here. Okay, well, I'm going to take fingerprint immediately. Take fingerprint, uh, search, analyze. Oh no. Okay, caused by. Are you. Did you just kill them in your own bathroom? The cutthroat slasher? Excuse me. Time of death is between 8 30 and 9 28. Okay. What the fuck? I need this. Wait, fingerprint type N? Oh, I, sh I was like, I sure I remember fingerprint type N, but no, it was M. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, we have Citizen. He's got nothing on him, right? No, 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 no. I'm allowed to be here. You gave me access to be here. Stop messing with me. Stupid echelon zone. It's that purple flag in the top left, by the way. Is that. Okay, uh, you gotta fuck right off. Okay. 
You're not allowed here? I am literally allowed here. You gave me access to your apartment. Okay. We have Sullivan Aaron, head of HR, uh, at the Desk Lab Group, which is their workplace. That's going to be a lead for sure. Um, let's see. I would like to log into that. Oh, they got a shotgun. There's blood everywhere, by the way. They must have ran around. Why didn't you pick up the shotgun and shoot them? And you were being chased around your apartment. The police is going to be here any second. We need to check for notes and stuff. Uh, work rotation. I don't care about your work rotation. I care about the other person's work rotation. Work rotation head of HR. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just putting this in one line so it doesn't make a bunch of random shit. Okay. Blood pool. Obviously, your blood. <laughs> Put that up there. Your blood. It's a little bit of a strange... Oh, I need this address book. Yes, please. Uh, do you have any enemies? Oh, there's... It's not that I care. Uh, LB. I guess that's their password. It's good to have it. Oh, no. They're holding up their fists. They're, they're forgetting. They're forgetful that they gave me access here. I know I'm not supposed to write this down, but I can't forget this again. Four, four, okay, we got the password of the person who is the victim. Let's get some more information from the... No, 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 no. No! Don't shoot me! Okay, fuck. I, this is so... All right, hopefully we'll get higher on the ranking so we're, we're allowed to be there. But damn, I, I have a guest pass to be there and they're still mad at me. Which makes sense, I guess. I'm just not in the right social class. Okay, so we have their password and we know where they work, right? So what I think we're going to do is while the police is being all annoying and stupid here, we are going to go to their workplace. Goodbye. Um and wait for them to fix this crime scene because there's got to be something that like gives us a potential fingerprint uh because I, I didn't see if there was like a murder weapon on the floor i'm assuming they're not gonna get rid of that here we are you can see everyone going to work by the way they're all finally 9 50 i mean i guess nine uh can i go in here now no it's still locked i just uh, that's actually perfect if i can be here before anyone shows up does mean I'm going to be trespassing, which means I'm going to have to get rid of the cameras. There's laser beams, bro. Shit. Um, they can't touch me or I'm going to be... Oh, they're right there. Turn off the security. Come on, get it! Don't you start shooting at me. There we go. Alright, turn off. Uh, no one's here. That's good. Go for the computer. Yes. To all employees, this is the work group. Uh, what was it? 1945? 1945? Uh, probably birth year or something. Uh, close that. Don't come in here. We also would like to get into their... Oh, it's a vent. Where is the... Is it this? 1945? 1945. There we go. Okay. Did I just lock it again? Whoops. Someone just come in here? Uh-oh. Uh, that's fine. Maybe. Turn on computer. This is not the person we're actually necessarily interested in, but I'm just checking what they got in here. Not that I'm gonna steal it. Oh. Oh, they got the... Oh, I thought this was gonna be the... This is where you can steal diamonds, by the way. That'll give you, like, 2,000 each, which is why... I don't know. It, it, it's so silly to me that you can, like, get a diamond and then do... It counts as the same as doing, like, three quests. Like, it just... It, it's stealing is stealing pays too much in this game sometimes <laughs> all right 1945 we need to get out of here okay they're getting into these adjacent building fuck that's fine all right we need to find the turn on the lights please i cannot see jack shit to find the office what is the computer of do they have name plates qm we are looking for wait at sullivan aaron sullivan aaron that's not you. I'm looking at notes. Sullivan Aaron, head of HR. There we go. Look at that. Uh, I just want to get into your computer. Oh, he's got his business card here. Paper stack. Uh, for the attention of Sullivan Aaron, this is to inform you that due to ongoing issues with performance in the role of HR, you've been placed under probation. Your behavior, work ethic, personal manner, appearances, and demeanor will be monitored over the coming weeks by your line manager and changes are reported. And any changes are reported. 
If there are satisfactory improvements, your position will be reinstated. If not, your contract will be terminated with immediate effect. Interesting. I'm just gonna put the over here. Probation notice for work. Is there more? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, it's just an empty, empty stack of papers. Um, you have your passcode, right? Do we have your passcode? It was uh, 4416. 4416. Let's go to quiet. I get paid for that, right? Give me money. 25 credits. Let's go. Okay, get the first name. All right. What do we got? Please help? Wait, 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 wait. Dr. Delora, I'm sorry to send another message, but I need help. I can't shake the feeling that someone is following me. It's been going on for days, but I've never seen anyone, but I feel them watching a large figure with blonde hair hair, of course. All right, um, I don't think the blood pool is relevant, by the way. Um, blonde, let's see. Large figure, large or killer profile, killer profile, large figure. Blonde hair hair. There. I think, by the way, the reason this is this way is because some people can be bald with a hair type. So then it would say blonde hair bald. Something like that. But because when they already have hair, it says blonde hair hair because they're not bald. So this, I think it's a bug with that, which is a little silly. Anyway, that's a very important thing. We're going to put that all the way over there. Um, okay. So let's... I'm just going to print this because I like having that organized and we can look at it later. Warning, by the way. Uh, thank you for your note. You may be suffering from mild paranoia. but a common side effect of the medication you've been prescribed. Okay. Warning. Heard from the cleaners that you've been up to... No good here after hours. Did you seriously think you could deal that shit right under my nose? I have until the end of this week to either resign. You have to either resign or confess. I'll be watching the tubes. Okay, then. They are some kind of dealer. You have a match. Uh, this our relationship engineers have been hard at work. Interesting. We someone coming in. Uh, says they like making real money, too, and has requested that we... Add, if you know what I mean to this mail, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so this is a little bug sometimes. I've been talking to the devs here and there, reporting some bugs. For some reason, it, a lot of emails have like missing names. So here there's supposed to be a name in front, but it didn't show up. So we don't, we know that this is not relevant. Don't wait up. This is also another bug, receiver.rel noun. It's supposed to say uh, like a noun here instead of this. <laughs> Obviously that's some coding shit. I mean, it's still, oh, this is Liz. Um, having a night out with some friends. Don't wait up and don't worry about where we're going. Left some pho sausages TM in the fridge, lol. Incident. Can you send me your... Oh, no. Fuck. Shit, they're coming into work now. Wait, are you the person? I just want to read the final few emails. Incidents? Is there any more emails? Drink. <laughs> Missing footwear. Dear tenant, I've received multiple complaints about footwear disappearing from doormats. <laughs> Don't leave them there. Uh, Kensington application from Kensington Indigo. It's probably some really fancy shit. Uh, our relationship. We decided to say we found a match and loves how house plants as much as you do. Interesting. That have anything else? Nope. All right, they're cheating basically. Uh, just a note that I. That I believe in you. Don't let them bring you down. Love, Sully. That's kind of... That is so nice. And then later on, you're cheating on them immediately. You piece. You are you feel guilty or something? Okay, we don't have any real important thing in here. Okay. So I think I'm gonna... Get out of here. Uh, I can't really talk to you right now. I would need to get back to the crime scene now. Okay, so we don't... We, we have some information. Blonde... Wait... Are you this person? <laughs> Wait a minute. Build large, long blonde hair hair? Excuse me. <laughs> what if this is the killer? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I've never seen this bug out so much. What the hell is this? Isabel? <laughs> Wait. 
Isabel Dufresne? It's definitely bugged, but I have your name. I hacked your name by hacking. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what the fuck? Unpin. Pin it again. Oh, no, it's bugged. All right. Well, we know that it's Elizabeth. <laughs> Isabel Dufresne. Okay. What the fuck? Search you. Combat knife? Didn't they get slashed? Slashed by a bladed weapon? Excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck? As I, as I told you, you never solve a, a two crimes in the same way. There's always some crazy shit happening. Okay. Can I please spin this properly? Okay. It is so bugged. It might be because they are the killer that it is some, somewhat bugged. Human 13, by the way. That's their name. Human 13. Okay. You live there. Sorry. It's getting a little messy because this whole thing. How am I going to give... Wait. Can I do this? I can't. Wait. Oh my god, is it actually gonna be bugged to the point that I cannot- Oh no, I might have to reload that real quick. <laughs> I cannot use this. Wait. Oh no. But I have the murder weapon, right? Let's check your fingerprints. Can I take the murder weapon? Search you and take it. I wanna find- Yeah, take this, yoink. So I can check it for fingerprints. Combat knife scan. So we have your fingerprint type O on the combat knife. Okay, this is very funny. <laughs> but it's very annoying. Okay, so obviously it's... Can I not really do this? No! Okay, well... Baseball bed now? Where did that baseball bed come from? What? Wait, are they generating weapons? Take that one too. Oh, they felt that. Fuck me. Shit, 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 shit. This is a private area. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this lady. <laughs> anyway, it's almost certainly you then. The fuck? I did pick up your baseball bat. Let me drop that real quick. Uh, it fell out of bounds. Goodbye. You don't have more baseball bats. Okay. So we might literally have the, the killer, the murder weapon. We should go back to the location to see how they are related. Wait, 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 what if we... Can I overwrite this? I don't think I can. Uh, it's fine. We're gonna go back to the scene of the crime to see if we can get some more information. That is very funny. Was it any of the names showing up in this? No, un... Oh, this was the... Unknown. Rodney Mingo. No, not at all. Alrighty, seems like the cops are done. Hello there. I would like to sneak in here without you seeing me. <laughs> They're so bad at their job. Okay, good stuff. Uh, what do we got? The body was in the bathroom. Was that the part? No, the partner's Lisbo. Is there anything around here? There is a business card. Didn't have what it takes. Kill to get ahead. Okay. So maybe there was some workplace shenanigans. All right, that is very important. That is killer related. Um, do we have fingerprints on this? If this is actually fingerprint type, oh, I swear to God. Oh my God. <laughs> that's so, that's so cool. All right. So they came to work early. They were like, that's so, I don't know if that's really, but I'm just, I like to make little stories. I know they're not always accurate, but I just like to fantasize about the potential motives of each crime. Cause it's just a fun way to play the game. Like, they will go to work super early because they're trying to get ahead of the pack, right? That's like a thing people do when they like they go to work early and go to or leave late. Uh, and that's what they're doing right here. Okay, so I mean clearly it's them. Now we have a bit of a problem with the thing not working. How the hell am I gonna report this criminal if I'm not allowed to click this? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um, I think what we're gonna do is quickly save the game and reload. I'm gonna take them off the- th I can't even take them off though, wait a minute. Unopen evidence? No, it doesn't work. Unpin. I'm gonna- I can't even unpin this, wait a minute, what the fuck? Um, I'm just a little scared that if I reload this might break the game. Can I not delete this in any way? I might have to go back over, cause yeah, I can't open evidence here. Go back over to unpin that so I can re I don't want to save it with a bug thing on my pin board because it might completely break the game. So let me quickly run back over there and uh, fix it, hopefully. All right, is everyone here yet? Because I really need to have the reception. Ah, oh, shit. I need to talk to the receptionist so I can get 
a guest pass, but there's actually no one here. She goes to work so early compared to the rest. Are you still here? Yes, you're still here. Oh, fuck. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. I need to turn off the cameras. Turn off the cameras. Uh, oops. And then I gotta unpin this thing. Because if I don't unpin it, I feel like it's just gonna save the bugged state. So unpin it. Get rid of it. Then save the game and reload here real quick. And hope that works. Hello there. Wait, the camera's turned back on. What the hell? Okay. I need to see if this fixed it. Hopefully it did. This is still unlocked. Turn off. Did you try turning your cameras off and on again? Wait, no. Oh, because I loaded the game. Wait. It doesn't want to turn it off. This is bugged. Well, I guess we're going to have to deal with the cameras. <laughs> That's so annoying. No, 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 no. I'm not here. I'm hiding. I just want to talk to this lady real quick. That's all I want to do. You look away from me. That's the thing with this game. It's so massive in scope that it's bound to have some bugs. Okay, can I pin this? I can pin it and it doesn't bug out. Let's go. Okay, fixed it. Nice. All right, reloading sometimes fixes things. Okay, so I'm assuming it's you. <laughs> Very likely to be you. Uh, sir, I mean, I don't see how it couldn't be. And we already found the murder weapon. I literally stole it up your body. Whoopsie. Uh, I would like to talk to you outside here. Can we have a little conversation outside of the workplace? So you're not going to be like, hey, you're, you're trespassing. Hello? Are we calm down, lady? I just want to talk to you. Hi there. Um, you are definitely the killer. What? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't want to get hurt. You're lit. I mean, you're in my handcuffs. Can I not talk to you? You'll pay for this. Evening, what's your name? I'm Isabel Dufresne. I'm assuming that's how you can pronounce it. Uh, do you know this person? Perhaps this person right here. Yeah, that's my colleague, Sullivan Aaron. They work at Desk Lab Group. Are you going to tell me that you were at the crime scene? I saw them today at 1501 Reed Heights around 915 AM. Hmm. Why were you there, huh? Can you explain that to me? I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder, so are you going to do anything about it? You're in handcuffs, and I'm going to send you to the police, and you're going to stay in the slammer for life. Uh, why did you commit murder? It was nothing personal, strictly business. Okay, so they are. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. <laughs> the business, the business killer. They look so angry. That's a cool screenshot. All right, well, that solves our case. That was a really fun case that they just showed up. Like, those are my, that, those are really fun when you're just... <laughs> I've had cases where I just like walk into a random house and you're like, wait a minute, you matched the exact description of the person I'm looking for. I think you're the person. Okay, so what is the full name of the killer? Isabel, I can click that now. Arrest the killer, check. Uh, do you have evidence that places them at the crime scene? Uh, yes, I should get their fingerprint. It actually doesn't count unless you, let's see, take fingerprint, right click. So then it connects the fingerprint to the fingerprint we found at the crime scene. So this is why it's important to keep them separate. So now I know this one connection found fingerprint on business card which was on the crime scene so we're gonna say yes this one right here we would have actually one of the first ones that we would have been able to because it's very hard to sometimes solve a crime 100 percent certain if you don't have a fingerprint because a fingerprint is like 100 percent evidence but i think this one was totally we totally solved even before that because we had um like the 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 description of the killer and we ask them like where are you and they're at the same place in the crime scene obviously okay where does the killer live i did not i think you have your oh it was fathom's height it's right there fathom's the fathom scarlet zone uh, which is like the not to be rude like the the poor people district like the slum district i think so they were trying to get ahead of the world by killing people i guess have you located the murder weapon? Yes, I have it in my possession. All right, there we go. What an incredible, incredible murder case. Really fast at solving them, by the way, which that's the thing in this game. If you don't solve a murder case, sometimes you don't have enough evidence or you just, you exhaust all your leads and you don't know how to, how to solve the crime. Uh, the murderer will kill again. It's like a fail safe way to get the, like basically most murders turn into serial killers if you let them, if you let them, 
uh, long and let them be long enough. So you can have another crime scene with more information and then you can make more connections. You're like, how are these related? So if multiple people at the same workplace get murdered, you can be like, wait a minute, it is probably someone from their workplace because they both got murdered. Uh, this crime scene is always going to be here, huh? Permanent crime scene. We're gonna be making another money, a bunch of money and getting another rank up in social credit potentially, which would be great. Gonna pretend, uh, unlock fast travel, I think is the next one. Uh, I would like to hand it in. There you go. Completed. The best detective in town is, is back. What the hell are you staring at? Let's go, complete a murder case without violence. Oh, wait, what? That was not the murder weapon that you- That totally was the murder weapon, you liar. Maybe it overwrote. Maybe because I took the murder weapon off of the, the victim or the murderer, it regenerated another one. Uh, oh, wait, what? You're now allowed to loiter in a bar or restaurant without what? What did it say? How do I know? Can I reread that? I'm not allowed to loiter in a bar or restaurant without doing something. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments or I'll, I'll, I'll read that back when I'm editing the video. Something about that. I can just be in, in restaurants and bars now, which I thought I could already. That's why I was a little confused. Anyway, cool case. We did it. Now we can continue this case. Uh, the case that is going to give us another disc, I think. Alina. Also, there's so many cases here. Experience. Oh, yeah, I want to do one of those rare sing this community. I think this one's amazing, but it's another humiliation case, which I kind of want to avoid. Sync this trespasser is also good. So many good sync discs here. Uh, why are you pushing me around? Anger issues, turn them into cash, more photo stuff. It's a huge photo case. I kind of want to do a business related inquiry. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to quickly. I am already here. There we go. Uh, I just wanted to get rid of the marker. I want to quickly check this out. Luckily, no one is turning off this computer, which I really much appreciate. Um, in this case, it's like. If there's other leads, I would I usually like to use those. But in this case, like, we know... What do we know about this person? Yeah, they live in a building or they work in a building. That is not going to give us enough information. So, obviously, we're going to use the fact that their partner's first name is Alina. Um, is there multiple Alinas? There's only one Alina, so it's Gustafsson. Please point it out. There we go. Uh, it's your ass, which is the partner. Alina. Where do they live? They live at 404 Reed Heights. Okay, so that's gonna be where the other person lives too. They don't, they never have like the same last name. There, no one is married in this town or they're all just keeping their own name, which I guess is, is fair. Okay, so that's that. I will we'll be looking for more business uh, contracts as well. I, I've i only been recording for, I mean, it's two hours, but I don't know. I like to make the first episode of a series a little bit longer so people can really dig into and see, like, do we really want to see more? So if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to play more because it's one of my favorite games of all time and I've been looking forward to more updates. I'm mean, finally here. Anyway, uh, let's go to Reed Heights, which is the fancy house place, but the fourth floor is not very fancy. I should also probably pay my bill here. Yeah, you're finally back here. Hello. Um... I'd like to check... Oh, no, I'd like to pay my bill. Thank you for staying at Sapphire Hotel. Very cool name. All right, 100 credits paid. It's, I feel like they need to add more ways to spend money and less easy ways to steal money. I, the, the less easy ways to steal money doesn't really matter to me because I... It's like I can totally self-impose some challenges. Like, that's totally fine to me because I've been having a lot more fun not picking up, like, two diamonds, selling them, and being like, well, guess I'm rich now. Especially picking up sync discs is so OP rather than having to actually work for them and unlock them naturally. Because I really like the progression in this game and they're adding more progression systems, but I would like to see them be more natural without them being so player imposed. But that's fine. Like the game is so complicated. Especially the crimes being oh fuck. The crimes being so um like there's there's sometimes very easy ways to solve a lot of crimes fast. Oh god. But so far, we've done them in different ways. <laughs> One getting super lucky, I guess, at the end there. Uh, you would think in a game like this, surveillance cameras would be totally OP. But from my experience, surveillance cameras are almost always useless. I try to look at them all the time because I just find it fun. But you almost never see the killer on them. So don't get that too much. I remember on my first playthrough, I would always be like, What the hell? But how could it be them? Because the surveillance footage doesn't pick them up. Uh, why am I here again? I got kind of lost in my own dialogue or monologue. Oh, yeah. We're looking for the partner of this person. 
Which, are they actually home? They might be home. It is your ass! What? Why is it not? Oh, this is the laundrette. They work at the laundry. They might be here because it's... They left their work thing. Are they sleeping, maybe? Only need a photo of you, right? Do we have any more information on this person? Fingerprint type M. That's all work in Ryong Heights is... It's the laundromat in Ryong Heights. Let's see. Ryong Heights. Is that where the laundry thing is? Uh, I need to go to first floor. Ryong Heights. Have I not been in the laundry machine yet? It doesn't show here. Does it have to be on the minus floor? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, or ground floor, of course. Yes, there we go. Carson Laundrette, which is where... Or Laundrette, which is where they work. So definitely... What is this, by the way? Hardware store. Interesting. Oh, that's where you can check if people bought weapons and stuff. Okay, so it is definitely you. Um, So we now need to find you, which you might actually be sleeping here, potentially. Yes, you are. Well, then. I have a rude awakening. Oops, I took a picture. What the fuck? It's a ghost? You got a fucking sleep paralysis demon. Hello? You're laying on the bed, but there's a ghost right standing there. What the fuck? Absolutely terrifying. I guess I'm handing in that picture. It's, see, it's connected to this, so it should count. All right, then. Photo of the target. There you go, sir. I have a ghost photo. I'm going to make millions off of this. Never mind. I'm only going to make a little bit of money. Um, I will be heading out of here. They won't even know what hit them. They won't even... What was that? Oh, God. I wouldn't even know that I was here. No. Goodbye. I wasn't there. All right, nice. Where do we need to hand this in? 11th floor of Schuster Towers. Excuse me. All right, guess we'll speed run over there. Oh, it's the echelon. Yeah, echelon. What I would also really like to see in this game is allowing the player to live a more normal life. Like, actually interact with the citizens and maybe, like, have, like, actual friendships and stuff. Uh, be able to, I mean, if you can actually build a family and stuff like that, that would be, add so much immersion to a game like this. And being able to work somewhere just, like, at a bar or something, instead of doing detective work. Like, in the early game, you could have a side job at, like, working as a bar attendant somewhere, and then there's, like, side quests happening in there as well. It could be so fun, so many things that could happen. Alright, can you fuck off? Like, just, this is one of those games where I really hope that the developers are just endlessly ambitious. Where I hope that they never end develop, never stop developing the game. Because this could be, in my opinion, like, the best game I've ever played. If it keeps going and keeps, like, expanding itself. Like, I've never played a game where I so truly felt that it is, like, could become an everything game. Where it's, like, one, one game that just, like, simulates an entire, like, universe, basically. Which is so cool. Okay, are you gonna see me? Don't see me, please. Huh. Oh god, is someone behind me? Oh god, they're coming out. Do it quick. What am I doing exactly here? Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to do this. I'm supposed to just hand in the case. Sorry, I got so distracted. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you take that. Goodbye. I thought I was breaking into someone's house to take a photo. They were watching some t television. Bon voyage. Right, that's all good. Photo of the target. Nice, let's go. Do I get the... Was this for a disc as well? Okay, sold again. That was a... Uh, two, yeah, you get 250 for that. Dude, we're already so far on the social credit ladder. That's crazy. Uh, let's see. We get... Oh, Spartan Insurance! It's like, it has so much text on it, but basically, there is three options. Most of them make no sense, because the one is so much better than all the others, uh, which will allow you to get money back. Like, you you get money from dying, but only once a day. The others are better if you plan on dying multiple times a day, but that's not what I plan on doing at all. I mean, we haven't died so far. Because, yeah, you have this one. Medical care is now covered, so you have 50% less medical bills. Legal fees are now covered. You will not lose any stolen items. Well, we're not stealing at all, so that doesn't matter. And then, suffered from an accident. That was not your fault. Covers medical costs and credits. 100 credits to your account, so you can actually get money. And what are the upgrades? Increased stolen value. Like, stolen item value is not that great. I don't actually remember ever being, like, robbed from dying. Hospital care is now free. That's pretty... I mean, that's a decent one. Hospital care is now free. What's the last one here? 
Wake up in your own bed after being knocked out, if available. Okay, actually, gold medical cover can also be pretty good. Actually, because I don't plan on ever being knocked out, but I guess if I don't plan on being knocked out, the other one is just straight up better. So I get $300 every time I do get knocked out. All right, let's do that one. It's just better. Gold action and cover. Um, so you need to not get knocked out multiple times per day. Uh, right? That's the one. Okay. So then we can upgrade that as well to get a little bit more money, but I'm not going to do that because that's not worth it. Like, uh, an upgrade this costs a thousand, so then we'd have to die ten times to make that worth it, which I don't plan on dying ten times in this entire playthrough. Hello there. You look kind of ominous. I wish... Can you buy from these people yet? Why didn't they add this yet? That you can buy... What the fuck? That you can buy from the street stall vendors. What are they even selling? I guess they're not selling the meat. Anyway, I'm going into a random establishment to pick up yet another case. Give me another. I'm just. I'm too. I'm too far in, man. I'm. I'm vibing. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm digging it. And just going for case after case. Twenty six hundred. He got six thousand money, by the way. Holy. Uh, that's kind of crazy. I kind of want to see. Is this even possible? This is gonna be a really hard case, isn't it? There's no way we'll be able to solve this one. Identify the suspect. What do you give me? Probably like no information at all. Like one thing. 13% profile. Blue eyes. Large. Security guard. Interest chess. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. These are the cases where you're like, mm, is it going to be worth it to spend? I don't even know how long. Like, what does this do? There's no chess club or anything. Like, that would be really cool if there were actually gatherings of people with different interests. So you could like... Uh, look at those gatherings and see who attends security guard is basically the only thing we have to go off of but I don't think security guard actually applies to like the people the enforcers because they're called enforcers so every business has like one security guard so we literally have to go around like every business in the entire city I just wanted to see how impossible the case was going to be very impossible it turns out so no thank you all right let's close this case as well we just only leave the uh, the murder cases okay so these are not the best cases let me quickly see. Do I need to? I need to drink something. Might as well. Do you guys have coffee too? Uh, that's a bunch of alcohol. I don't want to get. I don't want to stick a cola. Also, the cola is is cheaper here than it is from a vending machine. Uh, Shantles. What is it? Shantles. It is one of these. They're so foggy in here. Hello. Uh, I would like to buy something. I would like to buy. Everyone sells cola, man. I don't want no cola. Stinky tofu. I'll get some takoyaki. Takoyaki. As well as check what kind of work you guys got here. Uh, what do we have? Trespasser? Don't we already have that one? We don't already have that one. Wait a minute. That's good. I'm going to take that case. Maybe it's going to be very hard, though. Photography skill 1700 is insane. Disc vigor. Wait. Stolen item case. A I'm going to do that one first. Stolen item because I uh, I wanted to do one of those because they're like more akin to a murder case eight six two two zero three five Please help my name is Sheila McKay. I've had a good chateau dark something something stolen from me It was taken from me by in my study. It's okay so late at night that's actually relatively fresh i live at 701 hard projects please come and take a look okay 701 hard projects so these are you have to actually investigate a crime scene basically because something was stolen okay uh is it all going to be written down it's all going to be written down we know what's stolen we know where they live okay um i would like to eat my i don't need this anymore just gonna throw the the murder weapon in a corner there. <laughs> no one's ever gonna find that ever again. Uh, I need to drink something, but I really don't want to drink starch cola. I don't know. I'm, I'm a starch cola boycotter, which that is also another thing. Uh, they could add like different factions that you could align yourself with to the game. What time is it right now? It's 1 p.m. when I upload my videos. Um, there's no coffee machine. Coffee machine in here, please. Starch cola. There's just only starch cola dispensers around. I think, don't they sell coffee at the newsstand? They do. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So we need to go to 701 Hard Projects. There's also this. What do I need to do for that? Ask the staff about... Let's do that, actually. 
before we forget that later, where we even got this thing in the first place. Or oh, there's like no one here. Hello. I would like to talk to you. I'm here about the job. I'm supposed to give you this. Okay, it's going to be like a photo thingy. There's so many people working at these establishments and so few customers. Like, how the fuck could this ever be working? Like, how does this economy function? I don't know, but... I mean, you guys uh, go for it, I guess. I don't want anything to do with this. Yes, thank you. Okay. Give me a picture there. It's literally just City Hall. Okay. It's in City Hall right around here. Okay, so we're gonna we'll, we'll be able to pick that up in a moment, but let's go stolen item first because we want to go here as fast as possible So the crime scene is gonna be fresh uh, Otherwise the fingerprints will disappear over time of course the way fingerprints work kind of in this game is whenever someone like there will be items generated in an area and if and it'll like detect or know who lives in that area and put fingerprints on those items from those people. And if someone walks by an area, they will be basically leaving a trail of fingerprints around on everything they pass by. So you can actually follow someone somewhat by following a trail of fingerprints, but it's gonna be really hard to do. Nice part about these cases, the stolen item cases, is that I'm just totally allowed to be, oh fuck. They're not home, though. So I guess I'm gonna be breaking in, but I'm allowed to break in, okay? They want me to be here. It sucks, though, because then I won't be getting a bunch of information. No, 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 no. Uh, what did they say that it was stolen from? It was stolen from a room. Fuck. Shit, I need to find this person. Where are they? Because they need to give me information, like, about what happened to them. Uh, there's, yeah, there's no one here. Hello, your bathroom. These apartments are also nice, by the way. Like, so spacious. The average apartment in this game is way better than the average apartment in real life. Okay, I need to know... Where, what the fuck? Deer slug ammunition? I'm assuming it... Maybe was stolen from here, but we'll definitely need your... Uh... Fuck, I thought someone was there. We'll definitely need your phone book. There we go, phone book. That's what I was looking for. That's gonna be relevant. We need to figure out what your handwriting is. It was stolen from... I really wish I, I knew, I remember, because I think they say it in the... in the, like, little phone call, and then they say it again when you get there, but they're usually at home. This one is not at home. So can we see where they live? Uh, or maybe I can look it in the files, can find their workplace. <laughs> I'm just breaking into their house, okay. Is Sheila McKay? They work for Desk Lab as well! Wait, that's where the murder took place earlier. It's totally, like, it totally does that, the game. It creates the stories with diff with the same people from same areas, which... I mean, I guess it's also a small city. Anyway, so we know they're probably at work right now, so I guess we quickly go to work and ask them, like, Hey, uh, how about that stolen item case? Oh, wait, this is a different... Why is... I remember this name. Maybe it was the company from the first killer. I'm allowed to be here, right? Yes, I would like a... What are you, sitting on this chair? Uh, how much for a tour of this place? Sure, I can issue a temporary guest pass, but it will cost you, let me guess, 30 bucks? That's always 30 bucks, I think. There we go, 30 bucks, totally fair for me. Okay, who is the person I'm looking for? Uh, Sophia Walker, Owen Patterson. Um, these people are all logged in. The H, Kashila, something. Maybe they already went back home? I don't know how that works. Jashi. Kashila McKay, here we go, profile. Okay. Oh wait, it is you, you're sitting at the reception desk. Hello, why didn't you talk to me? No, it's not you. Wait, what? Um, okay, where the fuck are they? They're not here right now. I think they went, so the way these mur these cases work, unless it's you, no, it's not you, is that they like send the, the if, if you involve them in a case, in this, like, uh, stolen item case, they'll be sent back home so they can open the door for you. So this person went back home, and now I, I like, we, we, we went past each other. So now I have to go back to their house, I'm assuming, unless they are here somewhere, sitting on a different chair for some reason. Um, no, there's only a few people. What are they even working on right now? It's not you, then. What's your name? None of your business? Well, I'm gonna sit on your computer and figure out your name. Yes, Shayla, of course. That's your name. <laughs> Makes sense. I also get 25 bucks for finding your passcode. No? Uh, hello? Yeah, I wanna see this. Why is this person just sitting in complete darkness, you creep? Are you gonna knock on the door yourself? What the hell is going on? 
<laughs> Do you not have the passcode for this door? Oh, okay. They're lockpicking the door or they're just opening it? Okay. You are not that person either. Okay, what the hell did I just go through? Anyway, I want to go back to the house, I guess. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Hello. Okay, so you're back at work. Well, I was walking back and forth. I was like, where the hell are you? Okay, so they were going from home to go to work. Can I get some information? Okay, so you need to... Wait. I need to get your information. What's your name? I'm Kashila. What's it to you? I'm the one investigating your crime. Okay, I don't think she's going to give us any information. All right, a little messy here. But hey, we, I mean, we found where she is, but I think they only give you info when you're at their house. So we don't really know. Uh, and leave them, wait, hang up the target and leave there somewhere non-public? What the fuck is that, dude? Optional? Is that like going to be linked into some other things where they're going to be beat up or something? That's kind of cool. I didn't even see that. Okay. So this is a pretty annoying we're gonna have to wait a little bit i think for them to go back home which might happen because it's getting late holy shit i forget how much money we got let's just go to city hall let's solve this other murder because we also get or not murder but um other case because we also get some disc from that one might be a really tough one we'll see all right we know where she is we'll have to wait Alrighty, uh there it is we have a briefcase let's not throw it in the dumpster this time like an idiot Okay, job information updated. Is this going to be possible? Please be possible. Oh, but a picture it should absolutely be possible. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Do you know this person? Do you know the person I just... This one. I saw them somewhere around Schuster Towers. Okay. We'll go to Schuster Towers and see if anyone knows something else. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Um, Schuster Towers. Where is that? Or do I want to live? I think, I mean, I want that super expensive apartment. Are we, are we really going to get that apartment instantly? This is our first one. I mean, it kind of makes sense to start at the top <laughs> instead of buying an apartment. I don't know how much you get for selling them. I think you get nothing for selling them in this, uh, uh, in this game. You, you can't actually sell your real estate. Do you know this person? Let's see. Hopefully they live here so they actually know them. Saw them about Schuster Towers. Yeah, that's where we are right now. That doesn't help me very much. Okay, I need to find someone. I mean, I could go through random floors and see if anyone recognizes. Hello, do you know this person? At least people are talking to me. I saw them somewhere around Ryan Heights. That's probably where they work then. Which, I mean, that could help too. Okay. Let's see. Let me actually write that down. So we have, they live, live at Schuster Towers, works at Ryung Heights. Most likely, not exactly 100%, but most likely. Do you know this person? Nothing to do with you, all right, fuck you too. Hello, do you know this person? I like the ones where you have a photo. That looks like Sophia, oh, Sophia Walker. Wait, I know this name. Wait, what, we're back at Desk Lab Company, excuse me? What the fuck? Dude, this company is involved in every case today. What the? Okay, Sophia Walker. Uh, they work at Desk Lab. Again, we go back over there, which is where we just were like seven times in a row. Are you kidding me? All right, then. <laughs> Hello there. My guest pass is actually still active, <laughs> so I can just walk in here. Okay, Sophia, that's not you. Uh... You hello there, Sophia Walker. I will be this is picture case, right? Uh, yes, it is. Take a photo of your target. All right, I figured out. Oh, I need to take a picture first. Didn't even see it. That was the easiest case of all time. That was so much money, too. Select boom. What right to hand in? They didn't even see me. All right, get me out of here. Easy peasy. Let's see. We have there it is. That was such a fast case. That was a speed run. Uh, one. This is the four handing case. Boom. Unless that was wrong somehow, but it literally linked it, so I doubt it is. Uh, I'm gonna get a case from this or, or uh, sync this from this too, right? That's like case number five this episode. We've <laughs> that's like the most efficient we've ever been in any of these. Um, you would new sound you would think oh no that was part of the music you would think we would get slower at least for a little bit when we're learning the ropes again but nope we're still we're still clean enable fast travel for your apartment there we go okay so that's actually that's different but we're already social credit level five um 
Pick up your reward from the mailbox. There you go. It's got generated. Trespasser. Increase speed of lockpicking by 50%. Very useful. I'll take that. Uh, let's go over to sync because that's always useful being able to, I I mean there's different ver different things you can choose but I think the speed is always better hasty swan can I actually go in here I can't oh it's this place I've been here several times I would like to did, did, did this refresh by the way this is bugged by the way special offer today only install at sync clinic it's already the next day maybe it's because it hasn't been 24 hours in three hours it will have been 24 hours so then we know if it actually changes uh, we haven't even played for 24 hours yet, and we've already sold, like, six cases or something. Okay. Uh, invisible entering the lockpicking stance no longer counts as being illegal. This lockpicking itself is still illegal. This is, like, very bad. It just means that you can sit at the lockpicking and then, like, stop lockpicking when someone's looking at you, but that, like, doesn't really help very much. You can just stand up instead. Increases the efficiency of lockpicking. This just means you cost less money, but we don't care about that. We rather want increased speed of lockpicking. That is by far the best it does there's no upgrades to this but that is totally fine still all right uh you probably also don't sell any oh they're not even here anymore i was gonna see if i could buy another disc here i can buy upgrade uh files from there if we ever find a good disc that we want to upgrade but we haven't found one so far although we've been getting lots of them hello there people just chilling moving around no one at oh there's someone over there can we get another case I mean, we've been doing these so fast. Public humiliation, not interested. Oh, oh, you guys all want someone to be beat up, huh? That's really high as well. I want to go maybe City Hall might have some normal, non-illegal cases. Let's see. Only four cases here. We have public humiliation. You're hanging that shit up at the, <laughs> at the City Hall. You're going to get all these. Oh, here we go. A rare sink. This Kaizen V-Love Plus. Interesting. What is V-Love Plus? That sounds kind of fun. Let's get that one. I know... Oh, we need to close the case. I know this is potential... Uh, it's like vandalism case, but hey, we'll do all the different cases, I guess. Close the photography case. Yes, indeed. And open up the... Yeah, I don't even know what that does. We'll find that out. Ask staff about McClinton. Let me guess. You got a thing for me. I'd like some detective advice. All right. Have you visited crime scene? <laughs> That's your advice? Worst advice of all time? All right, have you visited the crime scene? What is that advice? Of course I have. Anyway, I'm supposed to give you this. Uh, it's a photograph of where a briefcase is hidden. There's such there. You guys are so... Who need? Why do I need to do a detective work if you guys are the best detective the world has ever seen? Visiting the crime scene? How could I ever think of that? I don't want anything to do with this. Yes, I guess. Sneeze right in my face. Bless you, though. Uh, that is around the park with two vending machines uh, at the entrance, which is this one. There it is. Look at that. Super fast. The park is not like a hangout spot. I mean, it's kind of the, the most depressing park ever. Uh, but the whole story of the game, right, is that the global warming got so bad or like... There was so much hyper-industrialization that the sea level rose so much that there's no land left. So everyone is living on islands now, like these super polluted islands. And over there, there's islands too. Uh, anyway, I have the information, right? Yes, I have a face and a name. I'm going to get this disc so easily. Okay, uh, let's see. June. I remember this name. Maybe we get more information here because we've already seen this person. Don't we know where they live? I swear we know this person. I swear I've seen this name somewhere. Okay, Jun Wu An. All right, do you know this person? Uh, have you, do you know this person? I saw them somewhere around Hudson Chemicals. All right, maybe they work there. Let's see. I know we could just look them up in the in the database, but let's uh, let's be a little spicy about it. Hudson Chemicals. Is that in here? Hudson. Oh, it's a. Pl oh, wait a minute. What? Hudson's Chemicals, here we go. Uh, oh, it's the first floor. So this is actually a building. I don't know why I'm in this random person's house. What is the chance that this is the person we're looking for? Literally zero, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Nope, not the person. I'm sorry, didn't mean to... Why was your door open, though? I didn't lock that, right? So we need to know someone who lives here. Knock, knock. 
No one coming up to the door. There we go. I just want to talk to anyone. Maybe they know their neighbors. Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, just like a factory thingy. But there are also people living here. This does not look like the nicest place to stay. Hello there. Um, do you know this person? I saw them today at Obsidian Fox Social. That's literally now. What the fuck? How did you see them right... How did you see them right there? <laughs> you were here. Okay, well, anyway. I guess you're very smart at... You, you got cameras or something? You weirdo. That would be cool, too, if you could upgrade, like... In your apartment, you could set up, like, surveillance camera around the city. Because that's what, one of the things. You can buy a Bloodhound tracker. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. Oh, that's why I know them because they they work here probably. Nothing to do with you. I think that's what. Because you, you, you can have a bloodhound tracker, put it on people, and then follow them on the map. What would be, would be really cool is if you could like also put surveillance cameras around. Okay, what the hell? Is any of you Jun Woon An or whatever? That's the first victim. You're, yeah, you're the retail owner. Okay. Uh, well, why did I just not look them up in the database? I don't know what I'm doing. I, I forgot that if you... Like, not in the citizen database, but just the phone or the phone book. Because it's a normal... Uh, we have a full name, so we can just look it up there. I got a little lost in the sauce. Okay, anyway. Uh, I mean, we know where they work as well, if that ever matters. We need to... June, that's why I remember them. You live very high up. I'm assuming J. Ann is you. We've been to this floor before. All right, well, here we go. Oh, they we live in a super fancy house in the echelon zone with the purple. Man, I love the purple. Okay, um, I need to first fill this in. Where does the perp live? There, they live there. Uh, cause vandalism at the home of the perp. Sometimes it says the specific type of vandalism. It doesn't seem to. It's annoying because it doesn't always, like update properly so then you don't get the reward or you're like you might have already completed it but you don't know it yet oh someone's behind me was it me so just walking past as i was lock picking that's the speed that's the lock picking upgrade right there made that possible wouldn't have been possible otherwise okay fuck they're probably home we could be on the roof here um shit i need a chair chair to cause some vandalism Where'd the fucking chair go? Excuse me? I'm still holding it. Oh, come on. Well, guess I'm gonna be slicing with the sword. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do it. Oh, I've already completed it. I just sli sliced you for no reason. Okay. Uh, Take a photo of the damage. Oh, here you go, sir. <laughs> All right, that did actually properly update. Okay, that was just their partner. They weren't even the target, and I just beat the... Sh well, maybe they were. Nope, unknown citizen. I feel terrible. I think they're just so conscious, though. They're fine. All right, we're going to go to the first floor. Okay, they didn't like their upstairs. They're very far upstairs neighbor, huh? What the hell? All righty. Uh, you rascal, I just beat someone up for you. That was all we had to do, right? Yes, that's all we had to do. Give me the case or the sync disc. I want to know what that does. Hand it in. I haven't made a single mistake. We forgot, or there was one time we didn't get the murder weapon, but besides that, we've only had perfect cases. I'm going to do this and then walk down. Because <laughs> I just wanted to have the thing on the ground floor solved yet again. Hello there, sir. Lost item. More social credit. We're actually so fast. We're leveling up so fast. Uh, pick up the reward from the mailbox. What is this? Oh, this is that visit. Okay. This is that disc where you get more information if you see someone's picture, which is actually really good. And we have so much money that we can immediately get rid of the negative. You should. This is a huge bait in the early game uh, using this one because it gives you a negative or a downside that most discs don't give you a downside so you might not see this when you put it in uh that'll make it less likely for people to actually talk to you which is really brutal in the early game unless you just want to start beating people up left and right but i can't i don't know i like playing it more immersively 
Um, even though I just sliced a person with a sword. But yeah, here we go. A visual, uh, an advanced visual ID system linked to an external citizen database allows acquisition of personal data to be extracted from citizen mugshots. You will now know the exact height from photo data. However, invasion of privacy means citizens are 25% less likely to share information for free. So this will make it really hard to get information. So we're going to try and get rid of that because the last upgrade here is removes the side effect. So let's see. We will get age and shoe size from photo data. I think all of those are better because relationship status doesn't really help me and money doesn't really help me either. So there's like two different paths you can take here. I'm gonna take the height path. So let's install that. And then we need three upgrade discs. It's gonna be very expensive, but also, can I put this in the trash somewhere? You guys, you guys don't have a trash can? All right, let me just throw this away and get rid of the sword as well. Bye-bye. <laughs> Just casually have a sword laying around, you weirdo. Now I can buy three of these. One, two, three. That's 3,000 bucks, but I still think... Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Why did it do that? I can't pick it up. I've got scammed. You bitch. I'll have to waste another thousand. What the fuck are you guys doing? Because when I clicked on it, it put it down instead. Oh, there was like a small... Never mind, I can pick it up like that. Okay, good stuff. Uh, level this up. Yes, boom, boom, and then side effect is gone. So now they will be talking to me and I get a bunch more information. So now we've been getting a lot of quests where we get photos. So now when we get a photo, we'll actually have even more information about the person right away. All right, well, uh, I've been having a ton of fun with this game and I would love to keep playing, uh, but I think this is a great point to call it. There will be probably might have already been another murder committed here, uh, but that still needs to be reported. You met her on Vlove? You guys talking? Uh, but we will be seeing that in the next episode. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I got a lot of comments when I did the live stream, which by the way, I didn't make a video about the live stream. So if you want to see more right now, want to see my first experience on the new update, we found a new sniper case and it was extremely difficult. That's why I didn't end up making it into a video because it was going to be really hard to edit because I kind of messed up a lot. But if you want to see me struggle with the case, I will link the, the stream of that. What the hell? It's cold outside. I will link the stream of that in the in the description down below. But thank you so much for watching uh, today. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the live streams, you can join us over at twitch.tv. Instagram, the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.